uh, we live. seems like it okay so i've been doing a little bit of tidying up uh pretty soon this rail block will be usable we've set up all of the train stops here as uh trash stations and Grabbed all of the uh, specific delivery canyon uh, capsules and put them into chests. I did send a bunch of them to space already, but uh, suffice to say, there's a lot of them. Uh, but we've moved it all to our new improved uh, delivery system. Um... Let's see what we've got room for. LDS. I don't think there are any LDS that got made over here. Uh, glass is... We're looking at... Well, how much have we got? Two... I didn't lay this out too evenly. So we've got three and a quarter chests full. Uh, each of those represents one stack. Looks like we can't fit it all just yet. Uh, so actually glass is like two and a half and a bit. Uh, maybe. That's like one. That's like less than two, actually. Plastic. What have we got the least of? I really should have organized these a little bit better. So I know how many we've got of each. Okay. So about... Let's call it two chests worth of plastic. I think we can manage that. So what we're going to have to do here... Because unfortunately we can't do this automatically... Is... What? Oh, I ended up picking up stone brick after all that. Uh, is we have to insert these manually into our delivery cannons. They have to recharge, and three is about as many as you can put in before you'll have to wait. So yeah, suffice to say, if I don't want to waste all these, like this is equivalent of a chest full of steel. If I don't want to waste all of this, I'm going to have to drop each stack into one of these cannons uh, manually. Um, I may do a bit more of that off stream. But for now, let's uh, set it to be nice and automatic. Looks like we're sending up coal. Oh, never mind. We already sent some. I didn't even hear it. Uh, we're sending up coal and iron. We never fire the cannons unless the delivery cannon chests are empty. So this one right here says C, the count for what's in this. Uh, has to be equal to zero. Uh, if it is, we'll pass through our signals for uh, what we want to send up. And for the 100 stack items, uh, we have to have less than 10k 
in storage over here before we send it up. Um, so what have we actually got in the rail system that will come here? And what are we missing that we need to add? For now, I think I would just like to focus on fully automating uh, the space science. So let's see, we absolutely need solid rocket fuel. Uh, we do have it, but I haven't changed this part here. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I actually set up the system on the ground to deliver uh, 16 types of items. Probably should have thought of that before aiming this thing at, at our storage system designed for 10 types of items. But we can always extend it. Um, if we just extend this belt and do the same thing again. Um, we'll have to move a couple of these, but that's totally fine. And I guess we'll move all of this stuff up a little bit. with picker dollies and we need room for six more like so uh let's move this over just a little bit more and then we'll do something like this over here i guess we could put it here not only saves a tile but there's no reason not to, since we're doing filter inserts. Although we wouldn't get to do the filter thing like this, where we don't let coal get past here. Okay, so we'll move that over a little bit more. So it's going to look something like this. And obviously we'll need to... I was going to say we'll need to move the substation, but there wouldn't be room for it anywhere. So we'll just do it like this. And then I guess we'll add another one of these big merging contraptions over here. Or we could just have this belt merge like in here somewhere. I haven't really left room for that though. Um, so let's see, we'll need to do something like this, and only let a certain resource through, or not let LDS through, rather, and then there's like one, uh, there's six more items that we need to store here, this has got room for ten if we're doing four chests, um, We'll just leave room to add some stuff to this later. Leave it as it is. I don't know if I'm going to have to actually go up there to... to do this. We would have to move this. That's probably fine. Uh, maybe I should move this whole thing over just a little bit more, so it'll line up nicely with this, and we'll move the substation over a little bit, perhaps. And this one is LDS has to be equal to zero. Reading from here, turning off this one. Okay. 
Also, now that I think about it... Oh, good. Okay, yeah. We have not set it up so that we'll accidentally send up extra resources, or different types of resources. That's good. Alright, meanwhile, on the ground, uh, this system seems to be working pretty smoothly. I would have thought I would have seen these cannon shells arrived. What just happened? What are we trying to launch? Nothing at the moment? Coal, concrete, iron plate. Okay, looks like iron plate is coming. Oh, there it is. It was just quicker than I thought. Like, it's actually very quick. Okay. Um, I also tweaked a little bit the design of the... Why are there no trains parked here yet? I thought I added... Uh-oh. Why are you stuck? Okay, let's head over to distraction number one. And it's over this way. So why did this happen? Asking for 16k iron plate, we got 115,200 plus almost a train load. Request stack threshold 160. Oh, this isn't connected to the... That's probably why. Okay. Alright. Uh, is there any harm in just connecting this one up? Nope, it's not connected to anything else because this is a combinatorless balanced unloader. So we can just do it like this. And I'll send these iron trains home, uh, including this one. Actually, could I maybe get you to come over here instead? Get it to swap depots. I did add a few trains that I started from here, but they all went back to uh, different... De where is our train? Did I delete the wrong... Is this it? Yeah, it is. Get back here, you. Delete this one. Oh, now it's just going to the nearest... Okay, never mind. We need a temporary stop. That should do it. Okay. Um, I think I want to add a few more trains. I haven't counted exactly, but I know that we've got room for like... Uh, probably 18 more trains, honestly. But we don't accumulate quite so many in our chest over here. We could probably change that. Uh, let's see. It takes five stacks to drop five trains. Wait, that doesn't make... No, no, no. Uh, six stacks to make uh, six train... Uh, five trains. So we've got like 36 stacks remaining. Uh, six, four, is it 24? Let's just make it like 20 more cargo wagons and uh, 10 more 
locomotives. And away goes our satellite rocket. Uh, I added, added a little display to our cargo rocket silo. Uh, these auto-launching ones. We are about 30% done filling this up with satellite telemetry, which we'll need to send into space for science. Um, okay, so what were we doing? Trains. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. And seven. Hold on, I think. No, that's. Yeah, yeah, I, I missed one locomotive. Back to our new depot. And drop them off. Uh, I found it's a little bit better to use bots for this. Uh, so we got... No, I ended up with an odd number. Whoops. Let's just do five of these first. And we need to give them a schedule. And off you go. Cool. We can do one more. There we go. It seems we have an overabundance of trains for the moment. That's good. Um, I set up these chests so that they would all hold uh, 30 plus a little bit of solid rocket fuel. Uh, each of these filter inserters that you see with the rocket fuel symbol are full. They are setting filters blacklist, checking what's in the chest against negative uh, 30 solid rocket fuel. I guess I could have set that to like negative 29 or 28 or something, but it's fine. Uh, where? Uh, so yeah, we've actually got tons of trains in the depots at the moment. It wasn't five minutes ago, it seemed like we didn't have enough trains, but I guess we were not that far behind. What is going on here? Oh. I thought I fixed this one. What do we got? Uh, yeah, I added this signal earlier. We had a train that couldn't leave, but what is your problem? Oh, you are trying to leave. Okay, it's just a traffic issue. You want to go this way. You are going through, and you want to go this way. And so do you. You would think this train would maybe have right of way, but uh, it looks like... I wonder if it's because uh, Factorio's train system... Nope, that kills my theory or hypothesis. Hey, Maki. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I was thinking maybe that Factorio considers momentum of the trains that are queuing to go through an intersection. But if that were the case, I would have expected this train to get through. Maybe it is the case, and because of how long they take to accelerate, these guys all waited for this train. Um, it looks like we're getting a lot of trains coming through all the way down here to travel through this intersection. So 
what we might do for now. Um, is add a bit of rail right about here. And figure out how we're going to connect it. That should be fine. I guess. If this is two-way, it should be okay to connect this one over here as well. Yeah, maybe that'll help. Whatever the case, I should be tearing up this old thing as well. Uh, those are also on my to do while listening to a podcast list. So there's actually, I was going to say there's actually nothing broken with this, but I remember noticing earlier this train was missing a whole cargo wagon of rocket fuel. Um, you are reading from the Roboport network, so we could definitely make these uh, active provider chests. Which means we could make this a drop-off for anything that we want the trains to drop off into the main network over here. Just have to add negative signals. We'll have to add um, also a times one so that we only take uh, Only take the signal for whichever item. Also, uh, implicit in this is we've got a provide threshold of over a million, uh, of one million. But, well, I don't think we're getting close to a million of anything just yet. So that'll work. Make sure we set the provide threshold nice and high so that... We don't accidentally tell LTN to pick something up from here. That's a few bot jobs. Maybe I should not have made these active providers with just one RoboPort. How about this? Whoops. How about we put... An active provider. Right about here. And just bottleneck it. So we only take, uh, only create so many bot jobs at a time. Maybe I'll limit it to 10 stacks. Okay. Anything else? Um, I did notice we left... Uh, we left a certain condition on... Uh, the provide stack threshold over here earlier. We were having a lot of a Baker Staunch. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we were having a lot of iron plate trains getting stuck here with uh, 15.99 thousand iron plate being put in. I had a suspicion that it was because I was sending the train there when there was just enough to load, but because it's a precise balanced loader, uh, precise loader, um, and it's split up into 24 chests, it might run into problems. I changed the stack size to uh, the request stack threshold to 200, and it seems to start working. 
I left the copper and stone brick one at 160 just to test it. And surely enough, we did find uh, the copper plate train got stuck in the same way. So that works now. Um, let's have a look at orbit. So I'll need to change some of these uh, filters. Uh, what have we got? Iron, copper, steel, plastic, glass is all up here. Iron, copper, steel, glass, plastic. Uh, we've also got vulcanite block, concrete, stone brick. Pretty sure we're sending all of those up. Vulcanite block, stone brick, concrete, LDS, and coal. Oops. Let's go a bit faster. Uh, I should have done that so I could click on this. Uh, so explosives, rocket fuel, uranium, and ice. I think that's everything we need to add. Explosives, rocket fuel, uranium, ice is five things. There's one missing. What am I forgetting here? Uh... Explosives, rocket fuel, uranium ice. Oh, heat shielding. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's start with heat shielding. And this one is heat shielding, rocket fuel, uh, explosives. Nice and close to the rocket fuel. That seems safe. And two types of uranium. I don't know if we'll ever send them up here. Actually... I should double check. I think I have set it up so that... We will automatically send up the uranium, but... I guess it can't hurt too much. Maybe we'll need it. And don't forget to change these. Heat shielding stops here. Rocket fuel stops here. Explosives. And uranium. That's five things, though. We had ten. There should be sixteen. Let's have a look again. What? That's the wrong one. Okay. Iron, copper, steel, glass, uh, stone, brick, concrete, plastic, vulcanite. I know we're sending these all up. Uh, I just added this. Well, well, let's do the left ones first. We're definitely... Concrete isn't in the rail network yet, but other than that, we're sending that up. Plastic and Vulcanite, yes. Uh, we just added heat shielding. We've got LDS. We added this. We added this. I think I forgot ice. We have coal. I added uranium. Yep, that just leaves ice. Okay, cool. I kind of wanted to put coal and ice together because I, I just, 
I'm used to thinking of them together because of this. Um, might want to take the... Do I want to take the coal and ice off the sushi belt, or should I just continue having its own system to deliver this? Probably the latter. I think a full chest is probably fine to keep this stuff stocked. Uh, that needs to go a bit further up, actually. i make it look all neat, if I can. That's not so neat. It's a little bit better, I guess. Okay, so this one is going to be ice. And ice. Did I change all of these? Nope. E238. Uh, U-235. Explosives, rocket fuel, heat shielding, and ice. Okay, so the uranium and explosives should be... Oh, right, we need to connect this up. Okay. Uh, so we need three more of these. And I'll need to change the settings, connect this up here. And we need to connect all of this to... Uh, to these chests as well. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so we got heat shielding. Uh, what does it stack to? 50? So we should copy the LDS, 5k. Uh, and we need to change that not to heat shielding, but to recipe delivery cannon capsule heat shielding. Rocket fuel only stacks to 10, so it's 1,000. And delivery cannon capsule, solid rocket fuel. And then explosives. Uh, what does explosives stack to? 50? So 5,000. And explosives. I just see shadows flying over your head. <laughs> yes, indeed. Delivery cannon capsule explosives. Uh, uranium. Do those down here. This will be ice. Uh, ice actually stacks to 200, so it should be 20k. Water, ice. Oh, that was the wrong one. Water, ice. So we output the delivery cannon capsule signal, but we check the actual water ice. Then uranium. Uh, does uranium stack to 100? I think it does. Let's see. Uranium. Uranium. Viva. And then... There we go. Let's double check. We've got the actual thing and then the... Delivery can encapsule signal. And we're good. Concrete is not in the rail system and neither is ice. I think everything else is... I forgot to set this part. 
ice. Do not let any ice past here. That's all good. And we've got room for three more without adding anything else. Okay, seems to be working. What do we got of everything? Um, I would like to connect this to here so we can see how much we've got of each resource. 13k plastic, 6.1k uh, LDS. Seems good. And just to double check, whenever there's anything in... Oh my goodness. O okay, how full is that getting? About half full, that's fine. So, whoa, ho hold on. Hold on. What is happening? Um, so we're definitely not sending a signal down because there's something in the chests, the delivery cannon chests. I can hear machines going. Um, yeah, some of these still have delivery cannon capsules in them. Uh, I suppose I should have changed the stack size of all of these things to one. I'm going to have to do that separately for each resource. It was expected that we would send a few items extra, but I should have realized um, getting all of these things started at the same time was going to be a little bit more dangerous. But it looks like we're going to be okay. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think we had any damage. And that'll calm down as we get um, more and more of these items closer to their targets. Okay. Yeah, I think we're nowhere near ever filling these chests now, so that's good. So I think it's just concrete. Uh, we've got rocket fuel getting sent up there. There isn't a hundred on the belt just yet. I should probably turn these around. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. Okay. All right. Um, I need to connect this over to here. We have not been counting the rocket fuel and explosives and so on that we've been putting on the belt. The count is wrong and I don't know by how much. The only way to get the count correct again is to completely drain the belt and reset it. Oh no. I'm seeing a lot of explosives and heat shielding and rocket fuel on the belt. Okay. Well, um, I think there's only one way to fix this, but on the plus side, we can do it remotely. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is for each resource that we've got too much of, I, I don't actually have to drain the entire belt. Um, it's only been heat shielding, explosives, and rocket fuel. 
So we're going to take those off of the sushi belt. And we're going to count when we do take it off. Well, no, actually, no. We're going to have to take until there's nothing left for those resources. Um... Okay, so the count at the moment is obviously a hundred or greater. And what we'll need to do is empty the belt of those resources without counting them. When we know there's none left, we will use a pulse. Uh, to correct the count. And then once the count, once the zero items on the belt and the count is set to zero, uh, then we can set everything up normally. Muted? Yes, indeed. Thank you, Fatboy Not So Slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Horizon Effect. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I was just explaining how this pulse generator is working. Uh, it's less than zero instead of greater than zero because we're using negatives this time. But um, we give both of these an input at the same time. The decider combinator, one tick later, will output everything it's given. At the same time, an arithmetic combinator is inverting it. And one tick after that, uh, the decider combinator is outputting. The uh, arithmetic combinator is outputting to the decider combinator's input which cancels out the input from this one. And then the result is the decider combinator only outputs anything for one tick, which is what we need 
when we are updating the count on a memory cell. So I guess I'll give that some time. We'll wait till we stop seeing any activity from these uh, inserters. Meanwhile, uh, we'll set up ice and concrete to be delivered to the train network. For the moment, I'm just going to be lazy and uh, set up a train pickup. Maybe over here, if we can fit it. I could move this uh, Robocod and Meteor. I think that Combinator not having power just resulted in us requesting a lot more rocket fuel than we were meant to. But that's not so bad. Okay, why can't we place this here? Invalid train stop position? Why? Not be moved. I wonder why I can't put this here. Oh, it's because of the signal. Okay. That's all it takes. All right. I guess um, holding onto a train stop, looking at the rail, it makes it a bit easier to visualize in some ways the signal logic. We can see here that you can go both ways. And over here you can only go this way or this way. In any case, let's do a few requester chests. Uh, maybe not on that side. And this is fine. And it was concrete and ice. Um, I believe it's like... It's 666, 667, concrete, uh, 667 for each chest. I was going to share these chests, but if we do that, we'll have to do a precise loader. Um, on the other hand, if I put them over here, we'd have to use a precise loader anyway. If I don't use a precise loader, I'm going to have to make a whole extra train station. So this is fine, actually. Um... 1,334. Water, ice. Copy and paste. And... I suppose I should have set the ones on the edge a bit higher if we're going to use a precise loader. If we wanted to be really lazy, we could set these to stack size 1, but that's not happening. Okay, fine. Precise loader, go. Don't know why I'm hesitating so long to get rid of this electric pole. Probably because I thought it was connected or not connected as it should have been to this stuff. Okay. So we're going to need some stack filter inserters. This took a lot of thinking to build the first time, but it's become absolutely routine. 
Did I go one too many? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, I did. Okay. So we need to set these to... Well, let's do the combinators first. Uh, first of all, we need a... We need to filter out the signals that we don't want. Uh, each greater than zero. Output each. Input count. I forgot to mention earlier, um, probably the reason we saw a rocket fuel train that had nothing in one of the cargo wagons is I was messing around with a... Uh, a build that will... It's suitable for a pickup station for small trains or large trains. Because you rail signal, yes indeed. Noxyway Gaming, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, good to see you again. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's going to be a great solution to this, but uh, un unless you have like giant... 6x6 six six chests that could easily swap items between them, or something like that. But, uh, to have it so that we can load up a train, either one cargo wagon, two, three, or four, and also have it, like, not end up empty, full, 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 in the chests. Uh, I've been experimenting with that. And that's probably why we saw a train running around with nothing in the front cargo wagon. Hopefully it won't mess anything up down the line. Uh, but for now what I've got is... We're reading the um, encoded positions of cargo wagons. If there's a cargo wagon detected here, we send this through, and so on. Um... Encoded cargo wagon position 1 corresponds to this position, uh, 2 is this one, 4 is this one, 8 is this one, and 16 is this one, and it adds them all together to uh, get a whole signal. We don't need to do any bit shifting for this because uh, if it's greater than 2, it's greater than 2. We're running the belt down in the direction that corresponds to the magnitude of the value uh, with the bits in the binary signal. So if it's encoded positions of cargo wagon is greater than two, all we know is there is a cargo wagon in this direction, uh, which is all we need in this case. But I definitely did I definitely failed to think of something. Uh, yeah, and this is where we are reading to tell LTN how much rocket fuel we have here instead of uh, these ones. So the actual chests down here might be kind of unnecessary, but uh, I just left them in for now. Um, anyway, let's continue. Uh, we need to remove the usual signals. Let's copy that from somewhere else this time. Uh, I believe it's this one. So we're just removing the encoded position signals. Uh, we'll get the red wire from here. And then that'll give us the type and magnitude of the items that the train is asking for. We also need to multiply by negative one how much stuff is already in the train. Can't quite see properly. Oh, here we go. Logistic train stop. That's what we want. Oh, and we need to... Yeah, no, we get a positive signal of what the train is asking for, a negative signal of what it actually has, and then divide by 24. 
We need the signal as S for stack size as well. And then we get the remainder of that. Um, and then divide by four. Uh, one for each cargo wagon. And we're not going to do another remainder because we're always going to load a full train with this one. Okay. So this goes to each and every stack filter inserter. Let's connect them up. What am I doing? Here we go. Like so. Set filters and set stack size. And then same thing from here, except we just do one. That's really hard to see. Uh, one stack filter for each cargo wagon. And then make sure these are connected and powered. Just use green wire here. And that should be it. Uh, and then we need to tell LTN what we've got here. So... Uh, we need a constant combinator. I need a mod to make the bots invisible. Oh my goodness. I found it. Constant combinator. Uh, we're not a requesting station. Provide stack threshold. Um... We're going to need just a little bit more. In the requester chests. That correspond to the remainders. And then... Let's see, Requ provide stack threshold 160, link that to the LTN stop, and then connect all of these. To the LTN train stop. So pretty soon we should have a train on the way. Actually, can I turn this off for a second? Oh, it's still filling up. Okay, cool. Let's change the name before we schedule a train. Uh, concrete and ice. Pick up. There we go. That should be it. And as soon as we actually get these filled, we'll know. Obviously, we need a few more robot ports in this general area. Like, at least a couple. Okay. Um... Wadis, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well.
So eventually that should give us concrete and ice being sent to the sushi belt in orbit. Have a nice night. Thanks for dropping by. Take care. Rock. Rock. Uh, so let me just check this. We've got... All ten of these things, this, 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 is obviously being sent. Um, we're not sending uranium into space just yet. I don't know that we're going to do that. But I'll just double check we haven't already automated it and it just hasn't happened yet. I may... I was going to say I may not have set up the requests on the second station up here, but since we're getting LDS and heat shielding to make uh, delivery cannon capsules, that must be the case. Yeah, we're definitely requesting uranium. Let's just get rid of that for now. Um... If we end up sending up uranium, we'll do that. Otherwise, we'll. If there's a couple of more things we want to send up with this system, we could change it over here later on. Cool. So that should be everything we want sent up to our sushi belt. Uh, have we finally removed all of the rocket fuel explosives and. Uh, heat shielding. It looks like we have. I doubt I would have just happened to catch it on the last lap where I'm not seeing any of these inserters moving. A hey, young Jesus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, another thing I could do is just remove these as well, if we don't want to send up uranium before we find out that we do actually need uranium up here. Okay, I th think we are ready. So let's... Correct the count. And get rid of this. And so now we have actually 100 explosives, heat shielding, and 101 rocket fuel on the belt. Fantastic. Alright, let's uh, put all of this into storage, shall we? Hopefully we've got enough. I think we do. I should probably put down a few more storage chests. Oh, we have more that we can place. That's good. I would rather overdo it than find out we need more later on. Okay, so how is that station looking? I need to make sure it works before we go into space. Good morning, it's 8am. Uh, in some places, I'm sure it is. Oh. Oh, we've got too many bots in flight. One of the bots crashed here. Mate, I just got an actual job in some supermarket supermarket. Sadly, it starts at 8 in the morning. Rip. Yeah, I am not uh, much of a fan of starting work that early. I have, of course, have it had it imposed on me on more than one occasion. It doesn't help that I am using the trash train system to drain all of these old resources at the same time that we are 
trying to load this station. Oh, that is some serious haloing. The substation is actually half dead. That's kind of scary. Congratulations, you could have also started at 6am. Rip. Short Shadow Plus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I even got the later job. Okay. Uh, I think we're good. I think it's time to go back into orbit. And hopefully we've got enough stuff set up that we can fully automate. And I do mean fully automate the rocket science. And maybe even the next one. We're also getting pretty close to seeing our science rocket do its thing automatically. Maybe I should... Maybe I should ride the science rocket when it goes. 89,000. Okay, how about this? Uh... Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That seemed out of place. What what am I overconfident about? Space time? Yes indeed. Yeah, it'll take a while for all of these bot jobs to get sorted out, mostly because of the charging station problem. And also, having so many bots in flight and we keep having some of them crash, it creates even more bot jobs to repair this stuff. Um, maybe I should... Maybe I should disable these trash train pickups for a little while. We're actually getting relatively not even close to finishing draining all of this stuff. I'll disable it for now. We'll wait till the bots have calmed down over here before we reactivate this stuff. Can't you just place more roboports? Uh, yes and no. Um, so in space exploration, there's this stat called, uh, swarm safety. You can have up to a certain number of logistic bots active. Uh, this doesn't prevent them from crashing, but it prevents them from dealing damage when they crash. Uh, I don't know what number we're currently on. I guess it's 500 every time and we're currently researching 11 so we can have 5,000 logistic bots in flight. This says 2,200. Oh no it's yeah no no it's I was looking at construction bots. Yeah we have over 5,000 logistic bots in flight uh, which is why when they crash they are damaging things at the moment. 19k green uh, green and yellow? Wait, what? Oh yeah, for the research. Yeah, it was sort of something to do. I wanted to drain green science uh, upstairs so that we could see the automatic rocket launch system in action. I actually, for safety, set this to wait until we're down to 5,000 of a research pack before we get ready to launch the rocket, but apparently that was a bit too the opposite of optimistic. Um, well, yeah, it was a bit too pessimistic about... We, we, can, we can make this as tight as possible. Let's see, we've got 11 chests, which is 528 stacks. 28 times 200 is 5,600. That's actually really close. Okay, 
So once we've got less than 5,600 green science in here, we could we could do this even sooner because the rocket is not going to launch until this is empty. Well, no, theoretically, if we stop using a certain type of science, that is literally as greedy as we can go. Um, we have to drop, if we stop researching and we've got exactly 5,600 of a type of science here and the rocket delivers it all, these chests are going to be completely full and this has to be empty before it'll send up another rocket. Uh, which is not something I can change. Uh, I wanted to set this up to tell me when we're close to launching the rocket. Uh, 998,000? That'll do. Global playback. Show alerts. Um, this one. Science rocket. Actually, I could make this universal. We can go E smaller than... Um, make it five stacks. Are we not getting E from this? We are. E is 45. Why is this alarm test not working? Oh. I left my alerts turned off. Probably because we're constantly hearing that things are under attack or getting destroyed. I turned that global sound down to zero. Hmm. Well, we can leave this as it is, I guess. That's kind of cool anyway, playing an alarm when it's almost time to launch. You know what will be great surprise if Independence Day movie happened to your map? Uh, I'm a little concerned about what you mean by that. Okay. Hey, we got our concrete train. Fantastic. Is it loaded? Not quite. It is trying to get loaded. Oh no. This did not work out. Bunk? What are we... What are we bunking? Um... I think because of the nature of bots filling this stuff up as we go... Okay, those should not all still have filters, that's for sure. What's going on here? Each divided by 24. Remainder divided by 4. Aliens coming in their ship and using the energy beams to do more damage than CME? Yeah, but why would you... Why would that happen to my map? Yeah, something weird happened here. I think I should do the usual thing and... Uh, so 100 divided by 6. 16, 17 stacks. Wait, what? That doesn't sound right. 200... No, it's 50 stacks for each 6. 50 over 6 is 8. Three, let's go nine and eighteen. I 
Actually, it probably would have been better if I'd only used four inserters for this. Yeah, that would have been... <laughs> that would have been a much better idea. I'm just going to create a million bot jobs if I deconstruct this now. Uh, it's whatever. I mean, I think that's just the Rampant slash Monsters mod installed. Yeah, Rampant's pretty tough. Rampant's more Starship Troopers. It'll be fun steal their ship, fly into their mothership, and install computer virus. <laughs> Wasn't it on Mac OS? Armored Biters. Yes, indeed. Okay, are you not getting your last bit of concrete? You are not. Okay. Let's get rid of all these requests. Bots, take a holiday. I think I was too optimistic counting on the bots to be a balanced loader. I have a whole list of biter mods. Oh. Interesting. Let's just get rid of... Most of these. And we'll do the same thing on the other side for... Ice. Uh, so... Is 4k. And ice will be 8k. We won't need this at all. Just the divide by four. And like so. Just double check those all got their settings copied. And that should pretty much do it. Oh yeah, if I do this, it becomes a construction bot job as opposed to logistic bot. So that'll be fine, actually. Except for the whole filling my inventory thing. Wait, is my... Oh, there it is. Okay. We got to copy this. Oh, that's going to help. So now we've got the construction bots moving that stuff over. That's actually really helpful. Bot throughput is exponentially higher at short range. Good morning. Want to sell hangover. Rip. I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I guess I don't have a way to... I do, actually. I have a way to remove the ice from here by a bot, but it'd be much quicker to just do that myself. Yoink. 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 And yoink. Chuck the ice in here. Didn't mean to do that. And then... How is our rocket looking? 92k. Yeah, I definitely want to ride this one into space if I can, but I gotta keep an eye on it. 
maybe I should do uh like a double row of lights display. We could do the main display here and the remainder over here. Or vice versa. Oh, okay. Alright. It's fine. Don't worry. Uh, how do we do this? So if this is every 50 from 100,000... Uh... So th these would be worth five, I think. How do we get... It'd be easier if it was just round numbers. Um... Hmm. I mean, it's kind of round numbers. Let me think about this for a second. Uh, full remainder 10, I think. Output full. Is that it? And then I shouldn't have changed this, maybe? Or that's going to be sick. So I think I have to set these to 1 through 10. Or zero through one through ten. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I don't think the remainder could be 10, though. Ah, uh, this is fine. So yeah, as this fills up a little bit more, we should see this climb to here before this goes up. Just make a turn and see the rocket bend? What? Make a turn. Like showering a rocket, showing a rocket which way to go. Make lights continuing north from the rocket and where the rocket launches. Only one light should be lit at a time. And the lit light will be moving to the north like runway lights. That sounds cool. Um, don't really have the space to do it right now, but we could try and figure that out before the rocket launches. It's just timing, right? Uh, let's see. Decider Combinator. Constant Combinator. T less than... Let's make it two seconds. Output T. And this is T1. And then we say... Well... Uh, we would need to do it in a range, which is a bit of a pain in Factorio. But the basic to get started here would be... Uh, ten. Well, if it's two seconds, uh, these are all 30 milliseconds, right? 60, 180, I mean 120, did I have myself muted? Yeah, so it's pretty easy to do a timer where these just stay on as you keep going up. Uh, 
obviously we need to change it a little bit so that they are responding to a range. But that's a little bit of a pain with Factorio Combinators. I wonder how I could make them turn off like 30 milliseconds later. In more of a clever way instead of having to use I don't know how many Combinators for each light. Oh, we're getting close. 93,000. 450 to 500 stacks. We've got 30 stacks remaining. It's only going to show this one when it's actually full. Here we go. Yeah, this is working. Except this is... This is divided by 10. Okay, so this scale is like 50 each, and this scale is like 1 to 10, so it doesn't quite make sense. But other than that, it works. We would need like 50 lights here for it to fill up all these before it fills this one up. The bot queue waiting to recharge at that robot port. Which one? Oh my lord. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. It's a bit much. Did our concrete train get stuck again? Seems like it did. Creates a gigantic automated base and launch rockets to send them to the moon. Cannot repair lamps. Yes. Bob Marley, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so what happened here? 97. Wait. Uh, we need to... Okay, yeah, it should be fine next time. So it will not ask for a train unless we've got... Uh, 16,000 concrete... Or 32,000 ice, and then the precise loader should work. Bot abuse? How is it abuse? I did it a way that I let the timer just run, then I divided timer by some number that gave me a slower time as needed. Then I did modulo, for example, by 10, that make numbers 0 to 9 cycle. And then 10 lights each reacts to only one number. That actually sounds pretty good. Yeah, we could take advantage of what we're already playing with over here. I think. So it'd be like equals instead of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So instead of, instead of greater than, this would be equal. We're only going to see this flash for a moment. But if we use modulo, we can slow it down. Let's set this to, like, uh, one minute. And then... Uh, let's see, equals zero... Divide one minute by... I guess it doesn't matter how big this timer is going to be. Uh, let's do... Well, we're going to change these numbers, I think. Uh, modulo 30 milliseconds. So we're getting... That's going up too fast. Well, it's fl it's rotating every 30 milliseconds, right? So how about... One second? Can we maybe slow it down so that... We could do modulo again. Uh, modulo 10. 
Oh, that's just super fast. Maybe I should have done divided by 10. No, we should use division instead. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Equals 0. Equals 1. Equals 2. Equals 3. Um... And we'll reduce this. Well, uh, thirty-six hundred. Let's do it over like five seconds. Yes, there it is. That's pretty cool. And we can change how fast that goes. Although, that's a bit too short if we're dividing by 60. 240. Basic math strikes again. That's kind of cool. Hey you sorrow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. High end factorio involves complicated math. No wonder I'm so bad. It doesn't have to. Well, sometimes maybe. Yeah, so this is 8 out of 10. Whereas this is out of each light here represents 50. So this is gonna fill up five times every time we um Oh, so I should just do 50 here, right? And But then we have to change these to represent uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Bob Marley, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, was that 30? 35. 14, 45, 50. Alright. So that should be 25 stacks to go. That doesn't look right. Doing pretty well. Would you recommend getting into modded like this? Fairly new to the game, about 100 hours. Uh, when you get to the point where... Okay, I definitely recommend mods for various reasons. Uh, quality of life mods, just always, pretty much. Um, if you want more of a military challenge, there are some great biter ones, like Rampant. But in terms of the challenge of production um, and the complexity of production chains and stuff like that. Uh, if you if you've gotten to the point with the vanilla game where you feel like you've mostly seen it all and like making mega bases doesn't really interest you, um, I mean even if that does, uh, I would strongly recommend space exploration. It's like it's like a great big extension of the normal game. I've yet to adventure into mods like circuits. Mods scare me. Uh, circuits... I understand why circuits are scary. Um, but understand that you basically start small and build little by little on what you know how to do. And complex systems are basically just a big pile of simple things that have to fit together properly. On one multiplayer map there were some airplane mods installed. Airplanes mod installed. Guys made hangar to park their airplanes, so I made them a runway. There were also gates to detect from which direction player comes, and it changes direction light travel. That sounds cool. 
Okay. So it won't be too long before we're launching into space. Uh, let's check our station. It seems like it's working now. I should probably connect a wire here to a... Well, first of all, we should actually tell LTN what we've got. And I would like to know what I've got as well. 18k and 13k, so not a train load yet. It's going to be a while, but I kind of, like, don't want to miss it. Anything else I could be doing for, like, a few minutes or so before we launch into space? What do we have here? Four resources and only one resource. Um, I think we got rid of the request for uranium, so that's just ice. And that is what we are putting into the rail network right now. Okay, cool. started using them a couple of streams ago now in what I'd consider decent thanks to hacks and also Veldek convincing me to. Nice. Uh, I can't really be bothered doing the thing where I empty my inventory for stuff that doesn't belong in space this time. Also uh, I remember noticing we only had one chest to store green uh, uh, green science packs. That definitely doesn't help. Same goes for red. Curiously enough, we did add a bit of storage for the other sciences down here. So that'll at least be... Um, what is it? 96? Uh, that's like one-fifth of what can fit in the rocket. Really, if I want to improve this, I should be building a uh, some science blocks in the rail network. But for now, let's go to space soon. Can we maybe speed this up ever so slightly somehow? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it doesn't have enough inserters. That'll help a little bit. Probably would help if the inserter machine was beaconed don't really know where I could fit one now, since we can't overlap. This this doesn't work, it'll shut off these machines. Hmm. Well, I could double it like so. Is that going to be on the wrong side? Yes. There we go. No, wait, wait, that's wrong. That's wrong. Uh, oops. Wait, it's inserters that we're having trouble with, not belts. What am I doing? Okay. Um, what do you require? Small electric and burner inserter. I can't quite fit this here. 
What do you mean it's spaghetti? There we go. Evil Plum, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Three months already. Magic? What is magic? Move one of the Roboports? Uh, maybe I could, actually. Yeah, that would definitely... Help more than just. I, I could also actually put speed modules in these things. Um, now we're very much bottlenecking on this machine here. Alright, well, that's dodgy as hell, but it'll be enough to help. Should make a clap redeem thing? What, you mean like uh, an applause sound effect? That sounds like a good idea, actually. Oh, we're getting close. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks for the suggestion. Alright. Uh, we've got everything we need, probably. Um, I think if I swap to my thruster suit, I am going to drop things. So we'll do that once we're actually in space. And what is this doing in my inventory? We got concrete. There should be a train coming pretty soon. 4K, 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 4K. And this is 160 stack threshold. Yeah, why is there not a train being scheduled yet? I know we've got... Oh, because we've got the concrete here. Okay, cool. Even better. So... Wait, what? How? Uh... Something is wrong here. Let's see. That is connected to the right thing. We are asking for concrete. Oh, I see what's happened. No, I don't. Yes, I do. We haven't turned this thing on yet. That's why we got so many delivery cannon capsules queued up in each machine. Alright, cool. That shouldn't be a problem. We'll have plenty of storage space remaining. That's kind of loud. Uh, my apologies. Is the sound volume for the game effects generally fine? Is it just that that cannon is really loud? Finished Dishonored 2. Good game. Nice. Come to think of it, I have some... I have some volume normalization stuff for the microphone. Maybe I should just copy those settings for desktop audio. Sound is fine for me, okay. We are close. What other earthly things do I have to focus on? We did set up that iron mine, right? 
I feel like I would have noticed if we hadn't. Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. Oh, that's right. There's a reason for this. Although there isn't a reason to have a train limit of two. That was a mistake. All right, cool. I would like to see some ice delivered before we go, preferably. But I don't think we're going to get another 12,000 delivered to these chests uh, by the time we leave. Ice is set up correctly, it looks like. So yeah, obviously with with the resource not actually on the belt yet, I'm going to be picking up these delivery cannon capsules a bit. Uh, we're going to be sort of jumping the gun with those a little bit. But considering we have room for just dozens and dozens and dozens of stacks of each resource upstairs, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. And we're leaving plenty of slack. Uh, let's see, 10,000 iron plate in four chests. 48 times 4 times 100. It could fit almost double that. So we're not going to get anywhere near overfilling this. Just 340 logistic packs to go. Oh. Wait. It didn't quite fill up. Launch on cargo full. It only put a little bit of the last stack of science in. Huh. That's a funny idea of full. Well, what can you do? And we are suffocating. Let's not do that. Uh, let's put some stuff in the trunk for now. Especially stuff we can't use up here. Switch to the spacesuit and not die. Cargo pad just mad? Maybe. Uh, I feel like we could improve this bit a little. Oh, I need some space belt. A space splitter, to be precise. Why are there only 93 left? Okay, space belt. Also, why do I have 200 logistic science packs in my inventory? That's kind of weird. Okay, let's make a little bit of room to output stuff. On the other hand, the space science is supposed to go here. Uh, we could do another one, I guess. That's fine. Oh, so our automatic science thing is in fact working. That's nice. Let's check the whole production chain, going backward from the result. Uh, we are sending up solid rocket fuel automatically, vulcanite block, empty barrel is made from steel. 
which we take off the belt here. And machine learning data. Uh, we could take it directly, but also I want to put it on the belt. Requires green circuits. Wait. We don't have green circuits up here. Okay, well, we can't send them via cannon. Um, I could set up a rocket to send circuits. That seems like a good idea. Otherwise, we have to... Otherwise, we have to make them up here, and then we lose our productivity bonus. Uh, red means we're taking off the belt. Okay, let's check this again. Uh, satellite telemetry we are sending up via rocket. It's already automated. It's going to be a while. Uh, blank data card and electronic circuit. Blank data card comes from here. We need red circuits as well. Uh, polished comes from here. Yes, very good. NSA field agent, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, scrap. Oh yeah, we have to get rid of it. Okay, that all looks good. Iron and glass. And we've obviously got chemical gel set up. Don't, uh, don't really feel the need to check that again. So currently it is just red and green circuits. Uh, that we're missing. Also, I actually did set up a system to recycle. It hasn't finished any products yet, probably because I forgot to do this part. So, reds. How do I keep ending up with 20 red wire? Oh, I thought I fixed this. Okay. Uh, let's see. No condition. Read hand contents. False. Scrap goes in here. And come to think of it, we've set things up so that almost nothing will end up on that part of the belt. Uh... Maybe we could just not do that? What do, what do we need here? Iron, copper, sulfur... This would work a lot better if we could have uh, priority filters on uh, splitters that weren't completely strict. Like, I would like to shunt the sulfur over to this side, for example, without it being only sulfur goes here, and everything else has to go here. I suppose I could put, like, if I moved this back a bit, I could put a filter inserter that moves sulfur over. That's kind of terrible. Might actually be the best solution. I'm surprised we haven't had any scrap picked up by here, though. Finished products, 9. It's a 50% chance for scrap. It's possible we haven't made any. Uh, no, we've got 5 scrap on the belt. Hmm. I could also add a long arm inserter here. That means it would have to go on the left side to be missed. That's kind of a... I feel like that's kind of a dirty solution, but until I think of something better, it'll have to do. Okay, anyway, let's figure out a rocket to send up 
This is already set up for satellite telemetry. Uh, let's do one for... Red, green, and blue circuits. Um, I think... We can't just do it straight like this. If we're going to share resources in a cargo landing pad, we need to do this kind of crazy storage. It might be simpler just to do one resource per landing pad. Uh, do we have two more? In any case, uh, I think here for green circuits will be fine. Um, let's see. Do that. And that. And then... Just like this one, except green circuits. And then... Now this orbit... EC? Wait, can I add... No, I can't use the symbols for this stuff. Okay, now this orbit EC. And set that to electronic circuit less than 100. I think we've got this rocket not being used, so yeah, we can just set this one to, I think it's a hundred thousand, yeah, a hundred thousand electronic circuit, go, we'll send it to Nalvis Orbit, launch on cargo full, Alvis Orbit EC, and it is actually as easy as that. Although the next one won't be as easy because we need to make another one of these. And we do have a system set up on this one to not have six million bots tasked to filling this up. In hindsight, I suppose I should have just set up one requester chest. Um, uh, one requester and provide a row like this. Because we're limiting it as if it was just one chest. The bot throughput. In any case, uh, we don't have another cargo landing pad. Probably should have thought of that sooner. I did want to do blue circuits as well, but I guess that'll have to wait. Um, can we maybe fit this here? We actually can. So we'll do the red circuits opposite the green ones. And connect this like so. That might be a bit neater actually than doing this. Okay, now this orbit AC. And I think we've got one more pre-built automatically filling rocket section. Uh, we're going to need to empty this, but that's okay. Away it goes. Advanced circuit. 100, 100,000, and launch on cargo full, Nervous Orbit AC, and 
that should be that. I do believe that is the last of our rockets that we've already got built, though. Uh, I don't really want to build more of these in the main bus base. Uh, I think the next one we set up will use the rail blocks. Question, I've never really used the pulse settings for circuits. How does it work? And can you give a simple, useful case as an example? Absolutely. All right, so I think a good way to demonstrate this uh, is going to include a memory cell. So I'll just explain that quickly. Uh, this is magic and it magically holds on to whatever signal you've sent into it before. Uh, getting past that oversimplification and lie, the way this works is it takes one tick to go from input to output, and it takes zero ticks for signals to travel across wires. So every tick, whatever signal this already has, it is taking something as an input, one tick later it outputs it, that is already its input for next time. So it's going round and round in circles. Um, I like to set this up with a decider combinator so that you can have a condition on it. Uh, you can use an arithmetic combinator if you want to. So R for reset equals zero. Uh, in that case, output everything input count uh, if you make if you connect a constant combinator to it you have a timer if you want to set the condition for this to uh, t is less than some amount now we've got a one minute timer because it's 60 ticks per second uh, at least normally it's 60 ticks per second. Currently, performance is a bit low. Let's bump it up a little bit. There we go. So, what if we want this to store some information instead of just ticking up endlessly? Um, let's turn this off for a sec. And... We'll get rid of the condition for a moment, so that is empty. If I click this on more or less as fast as I can, we see that was eight ticks, uh, eight sixtieths of a second. Uh, what if we want to just give it uh, whatever value is in here? Uh, we need to input this for exactly one tick. So the way we can do that well, there's actually a circuit that will uh, do this for you. It'll effectively convert a constant input uh, into just a single tick. Let's empty this first. Uh, so I'm going to turn this off, turn it on again. And as you can see, that only... This is called a pulse generator. Um, we're doing a constant input here, but after one tick, this multiply by negative one arithmetic combinator sends its output to this thing, which for just one tick, it, uh, this condition is true. Each is greater than zero. It receives signal of T10. It outputs it. But next tick, it's also receiving negative 10t from this thing. Uh, so for just one tick, it'll output this. You can have the same effect by having uh, read hand contents uh, pulse or using a belt to do the same thing. Actually, what I could do here All right, so we're going to read hand contents pulse on this one Same thing over here, but it's belt contents 
and I'll put a bit of concrete on the belt. And I forgot to do the part where this multiplies by negative one. Okay, let's reset this thing. So here we see it counts what's on this part of the belt. Uh, no matter how long this inserter holds onto the stone brick, it's going to only count it once. Same applies for this part of the belt. If we change these to hold, uh, we actually get positive or negative depending on how long the stack inserter is holding onto the brick or how long it goes through that piece of belt. Uh, it's pretty clear as this thing gradually ticks up on average, it's spending more time in the hands of the inserter uh, than it is in the uh, in the space transport belt. But yeah, that's the main uh, that's the main way to use it that I'm aware of off the top of my head anyway. Um, we can count how many times this piece of land. Oh, uh, pulse. We can count how many times this piece of landfill has gone around this belt by using read and pulse. Is it possible to double count an item on pulse? Absolutely. Just multiply this by two. And now it's going up by two each time. Uh, if you specifically need to multiply something by 2, there is a way to do it without a combinator. Uh, just use two wires. So, if you connect this to, like, a power pole or something... Well, ignore, for the, ignore the fact for a moment that this green wire is going to hold onto the count. Um, you would see one when this pulses you would see one uh landfill on green and one landfill on red but when you feed it to a uh combinator uh it doesn't care about distinctions like that it just adds them up so i'm gonna put this one used life support canister in here and you can see that this is just considering that an input of two. So here we have this increasing by two each time. You can count double by error. I would imagine so. Like if you read a stopped item in a belt reader, then another item comes in. Um... I mean, yeah, it's, uh, I believe it's the moment that it enters the space transport belt that it gets counted. Let's find out. So now it's on 100, 102. So it's definitely not after it exits. Let's not leave this gross and nasty stuff up here. Okay. Oh, my goodness. How did... Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, that's not what I was going for. Should probably get rid of all of these priorities, actually. Um, so yeah, I think we didn't finish unloading the coal and ice from this thing. And then it managed to fill up, and the automatic system thought, oh, we're full. Launch the rocket. I automatically recycle my canisters in space, I guess. Um, so we've got quite a lot of coal and ice here. Um, 
what I could do, although we probably don't have that many construction bots here, we have 45. If I wanted to be incredibly lazy and patient, uh, I could just mark this for deconstruction, and the construction bots will uh, put it all in storage. But I'm not going to do that. Um, for now, I think we will just... Do it like so. That's our goal over there. Actually, I hope I'm not going to end up wanting to build something in here. I'm sure I will, actually. Well, that's a few stacks anyway. And... As for coal, I think I should probably just add some chests to hold onto this temporarily. That's not quite right. Okay, same thing for coal, if we can. So from my understanding, the pulse reading only generates a signal of the type only on entrance to those entity readers? Uh, yep, yeah, I believe so. The point is it only generates that signal for one tick as opposed to for as long as it's in there. Um, putting something in chests connected to circuit wire does only one mo mode of operation, read contents. Uh, I feel like even though you don't have an option for a pulse here, it'd probably be helpful to uh, teach new players a little bit better. If this said read contents bracket hold, for example, because that's what's happening. So there shouldn't be any case of double counting an item. Uh, no, there isn't. Like if I mess with this, as long as I don't like destroy the piece of belt or something like that uh there isn't like something that i can do to mess this up that is going to cause it to accidentally double count been to store brought me lunch beers and some roasted unsalted pistachio nuts nom, nom, nom. i used to like pistachios not that i don't like them now i had a pistachio phase Uh, okay, so what are we doing? We've actually got... We got our red signs early because we didn't... Because of all the coal and ice that was in the way. Green signs is... I said signs, I meant circuits. Uh, green signs is going to take a while at this rate. Um... Can I maybe speed it up a bit? Okay, thanks. Seeing you do the sushi belt made me want to try it again. And it seems like I have a few ideas to try out with the pulse reading. Nice. Get a breakfast and eat it in a bed. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Here comes the snake. 
I've probably made something like wrong here, but the system will actually sort itself out. If we put extra in these chests, they'll just get taken away. It is going to take a long time to bring green circuits up here, though. Um, I could put some in here for now. And we do have quite a lot of green circuits in space already, actually. So that should be enough to confirm that we do have... Uh, the first, uh, the most basic space science fully automated already. So we got coal liquefaction going strong, obviously. We just sent way too much coal and ice up. Not bad idea, but what if I get my breakfast and blanket. That sounds hygienic. Okay, we got copper. Yeah, we're sending up copper via... Is our count of copper on the belt wrong? It says 101. Oh, I see some copper. A little bit. Okay. I'm finding it plausible that we do have 101 copper on the belt. So why is this one... ...never getting any? Maybe we should do a balancer. I think we can fit one here. Also, I really meant to make a blueprint for a belt balancer. Let's do that. That should be fine. Work-wide space. I'll just leave that there for now. Okay, turn these around for a moment so we don't mess up the count. Uh, I need some more of this stuff. It should be on its way. It is not on its way. Why not? Because this is not actually in the robo network. It's in my little robo network. That should do it. I'm pretty sure we have a Roboport. Well, I should have one in my inventory in any case. There we go. Okay, so that should get built now. And then... There we go. Nyron Wolf, thank you for the host. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, uh... Oh, I forgot to turn around the... underground belts. So that should hopefully get a bit more copper coming to this thing. I should also probably increase uh, the amount of copper that we can put on the belt. Don't want to go too crazy. We'll increase this little by little, resource by resource, so we don't end up overfilling it. 
don't know how many different resources we're going to end up wanting up here. Something I haven't come up with yet is... I've seen this in a couple of places. Obviously, this is mostly because of how I messed with it recently. But I would love to have a system in place for sushi belts where if it's fully saturated uh, we break it up a little bit and try and distribute the items more evenly across the entire sushi belt. It'd be really nice if we could dynamically adjust the speed of a belt. In that case, all we would have to do is uh, read... Well, we would probably need a combinator as well, uh, because we're doing sushi. But we could read the section of belt behind this one, and if it's fully saturated, just slow it down. Um, and that would definitely break things up a bit. Maybe you could somehow sideload a slower speed belt that feeds back in. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Except, um, in space, the slowest belt that I have is 45 items per second, and we don't actually have faster belt yet. We've only got one speed. We could use inserters somehow. I don't know. It mostly sorts itself out over time, but still. Actually, just using a slower inserter would do the case, maybe. Oh, we got our scrap. We can't use productivities in this, right? No. Oh, it's working. And we're still waiting on the satellite telemetry, which comes in up here. We're actually half full on satellite telemetry now. That's pretty cool. Won't be too much longer. Alright, so with all of that set up fully automatic, let's start looking at building the next type of science. I think someone said uh, astronomic science is like probably the easiest one to deal with for now. Triggers random zone discovery when researched. Oh, is this uh, infinite research? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Astronomical is easiest. Working and listening. No worries, by all means. Um, I don't really know. Efficient cooling thermofluid to 10 degrees C. Isn't this just something I can already do, but slightly more efficient? This is heating it up. Thermo... I don't want to change the recipe to look at it here. So we just lose less of it if we do this? Probably. Uh, I think material sa- Oh wait, what has- I think I- remember looking at this. I was going to say, what do we need for Spidertron, but it's actually terrifying. Uh, but material science pack, I think there was a lot of stuff that we wanted that for. Or maybe energy science? 
This is obviously energy science. Material science for better thruster. Better shields. Uh, heavy girders. Artillery upgrades. Lab upgrades. Cargo robot. Uh, robot cargo. Inventory space. Hmm. Okay. I feel like there was something I saw earlier that made me want to figure out material signs. So let's do that. We use the factory planner. Uh, let's do one over here. How do I add a recipe? Material. So I think we looked at this before. Okay, so we need... Oh, it makes junk data cards. Okay. Iridium plate. We need to get that from Mars. Okay, is there one of these next tier of science packs that we can make with everything we've... Uh, stuff that we've already got? Let's look at astronomic... Which of these is better? The one that makes less junk data cards? Probably. Significant data, astronomic catalog. Oh, that's, this one requires beryllium plates consistently. We've got a few in storage, but we don't know where to get them. Alright, so let's say this recipe. Uh, significant data, astronomic, astronomic. Hold thermofluid. I think we already know how to make fold thermofluid. Um, well, let's check that we can do that. We'll need to make a radiator. Um, I think we're using the manufacturing up here for these things. Uh, radiator. So we need some space pipe, pump steel, wire, let's get some pipe. Bio is the best to do last, okay. Astro energy are my first go-to's. I like energy first as it gives me more useful stuff for what I want done ASAP. Where's our pipe? I think we're going to need more than 22 pipe. Uh, no, I know we, we haven't run out of pipe yet. We've got some down in this chest. That is literally two pipe. That's not what I'm looking for. I hope we have enough. We actually just need four. That was a lot of wire, though. Okay. Let's have a look at our recipes here. We only know how to cool to negative 10 at the moment. Actually. 50 to 49 as opposed to 500 to 499 with that other recipe. That's not insignificant, I guess, but not too worried about it. Um... So how do I get... Efficient cooling... Ryo cooling thermofluid to negative 100. That requires energy science. And just to double check, we definitely don't already have a way to... Hello. We need a hypercooler. Hypercooler. Okay. Hypercooler. I don't think we've made one of these before. Pump. I didn't mean to make two, but sure. Hypercooler. 
Hypercooling th thermo fluid to negative 100. Fantastic. Oh, we can actually do it all the way down to zero Kelvin. I'm a little bit surprised we can already do that. Okay, so that means we can make our cold thermo fluid. Now we need astronomic insight. There's only one way to do that. We need a neural supercomputer. I don't think we can make those yet. Supercomputer. Wait, is it um is it just defaulting to the best the best kind? Yeah, okay, cool. So we can make that. You think it'd be easier to cool things down while literally in space? Probably. Getting something to approximately zero Kelvin is still pretty tricky though, right? I don't know much about it. If a liquid is at zero Kelvin, how does it flow through a pipe? Um, depends on the fluid. Is there anything that doesn't freeze before that? Zero Kelvin, yeah, but a couple degrees Kelvin is already roughly the temperature of space. Oh yeah, true. Well, if... Wait, is it really that cold? Anyway, uh, let's look at our production line. We need astronomic catalogs, which we also need for this anyway. And we need... Hold on. So... So we, we need astronomic insight. And to make astronomic... We need astronomic catalog and cold thermofluid to make uh, astronomic insight. And we need both of these two things to make this in the first place. Okay, so this production chain just started to look significantly easier. Um, so how do we make this? Visible observation data, infrared, UV, astronomic data, cold thermofluid. Okay, I have... Well, I have some idea how to make these, but I haven't looked at the actual recipes yet. And cold thermofluid... Uh, we obviously already know how to make. I'm just going to move that down here for now. Uh, so what's this? We need an astrometrics facility. Is it going to be the same for this stuff? Okay, cool. So, so is this like a percentage thing or? Uh, astrometric data requires all three of these plus thermofluid, and then you add all of that together to make catalog, kind of like with this stuff. Okay. Can we make a astromerics uh, facility right now? Facility? We can. If you don't understand it, it's magic. Oh no. I guess it won't freeze, then the problem is not actually a temperature. Without gravity, it's hard to pump things in space. Uh, yeah, I remember, I think, Scott Manley talking about that. Um, I think one of the tricks they use to deal with that is spin. Sometimes. Uh, okay, so we need some blue circuit, red circuit, and space assembly. Um, I'm sure we've got some lying around somewhere. So, I don't know where. 
that's belt and pipe only. Uh, around here, I don't think we're storing anything in particular. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, we've got lots of pipe still. Fantastic. Good to know. Okay. Don't know how many of these we're going to want to make. Let's not eat all of our resources just yet. That looks kind of cool, not gonna lie. It's very... the artist was very much having fun with this. It, I don't think it looks very functional, but it definitely looks cool. Okay, so that goes there. We need at least three more of these. And a lot more LDS. Fantastic. Okay, so one, two, three. This is the only one that requires cold thermo fluid. Uh, this requires UV observation frame, infrared observation frame, visible observation frame, and they all require blank data card, which we're already putting on the sushi belt. Uh, how do we make observation frame? Hold on. There it is. Oh, and these spit out junk as well. Yeah. Junk data and scrap. Okay. Uh, what were we doing? Observation frame. Blank observation frame plus cold thermofluid. And we need a telescope. Okay. And we probably need three telescopes unless I want to be playing around with... Uh, crafting combinators setting the recipes with a production chain with which I am completely unfamiliar. Telescope. Uh, we need some multispectral mirrors. I know we have some of those. How many do we need? Not very many at all. Alright. One, two, three. And we'll take this. That's two. We need more glass. Should be glass in the cannon delivery system. Fantastic. Starting to feel like a normal base up here. Instead of just carefully going through finite resources that we've brought up. We'll get everything up here automatically eventually. Okay, so the telescope's surprisingly small. So this one is visible. This one is infrared. And this one is called UV. And is the data thing... Is it just like a physical object, I guess? Um, let's see. And we obviously have to deal with the fluid coming out as well. That won't be a problem with the way we've set up the bus. The first chest you opened. Back in space. Good to see you all. Welcome, welcome. Even Shady. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Kazantia. Welcome, welcome. 
The first chest you opened. The first chest you opened. Okay. Um, this production chain is big enough that I'm kind of getting lost. But... I think I can just about wrap my head around it. We need a astronomic catalogue. Okay, so I think we need two supercomputers. Astronomic catalog. Astronomic. Wait, what is this? Astronomic insight. Uh, have I confused myself? Astronomic science pack requires catalog. Oh, there it is. Insight. That looks. That's a different icon. Um. So we're already making the catalogs. This is the catalogs. And we need insight and significant data. I can actually remember where to get significant data. Supercomputer plus insight plus cold thermofluid. So we need three more supercomputers, I think. All right, we need LDS and blue circuit. LDS. Uh, there's a whole bunch of it down here. Blue circuits, I think we have. Why is this not loaded? Oh, have we gone through all of the ammo I sent up already for this? That's a little bit concerning. Um, blue circuit. We're actually running out of it. All sciences have it the same. Data cards, catalog, insight, science... Only difference is how to make the data cards. Media hype? Yeah, it's a little scary. I presume there's been medias just everywhere and we've been shooting them down needlessly. For the most part. Okay, let's make our three more supercomputers. Uh, I forgot the LDS. And I went way too far while I was getting my thermos. Okay, LDS. And immediately see the cannon shell to send more L... Did I miss that? It didn't happen that quickly, surely. Ah, whatever. Okay, LDS go. Uh, blue circuits. This is actually really thirsty for blue circuits. Wow. I don't think I've got enough up here to make all of the supercomputers that we need. Unless I want to... Well, we don't actually have sulfuric acid up here yet. Can't really make blue circuits here. Um, I could make maybe another cargo landing pad. I, I think I'm going to have to go back before we get enough blue circuits up here. Concrete and steel we are receiving via cannon. So that's no problem. I need to make some room in my inventory, though. Oops. Am 
multicolored stuff go here. And steel. Then cargo landing pad. I'm back. Welcome back. The joys of space exploration. Oh no, I'm missing ingredients here. I have to go back. Yeah. I mean, I could set up a production chain for... You know, I could have set up a production chain for red circuits or green circuits or blue. Um, but the fact there's no productivity modules up here except for science. Um, I don't really want to be that wasteful. Okay, so this is going to be blue circuits. And we'll do something similar over here. Except... Uh, give me back my purple inserters, please. Or you could do that. Okay, so this is going to be blue, and blue, and I'll change the name of this one to Elvis Orbit PU for Processing Unit. And we'll have to go and actually set this up on the ground. I'm very tempted to copy-paste this and make a blue circuit one. Extremely tempted. Um, actual blue circuit production is over here. So it would make sense to have it on the left side of the base. Can we maybe... Do it like this? It doesn't quite fit. We could change the pipes a little bit. This is actually not that hard to fit somewhere. Okay. Lazy bot pace... Uh, pace? Lazy bot base powers go. Uh, we want to get rid of that request though. Bring fast inserters, pumps, blue engines, green engines, space assembly machines. Had breakfast and my blanket plus tea. Nice. First proper space science. Wait, what do you mean proper? How dare you. Just kidding. Uh, Nalvis Orbit PU. Launch on cargo full. We need to get some... Uh, some rocket fuel down here. Liquid rocket fuel. It's gonna be tricky. If we do it up this way... That would be... not fine, actually. Um... How... How get... fuel... Oh, no. Okay, we could maybe do it through here, and then... <laughs> this is fine. It's not a spaghetti base. Nothing bad is happening. Is it one tile away from the corner? There we go. And then... that goes here. Pipe. And there we go. Cool. We're almost finished actually building the rocket. 
Uh, then we need to set this up for 50,000. Blue circuits. That is going to take a minute to fill up, to say the least. Uh, we do store a lot of blue circuits, but currently we're only looking at 4.8k. At a production rate of... Are there no beacons here? Oh yeah, they are. Uh, 142, that's per minute. 2.3 per second. Um... Three hundred and sixty-two minutes. We're looking at six hours to get. Uh, that's assuming we'd never suffer a limit in green and red circuits and sulfur coming in. Uh, if we don't change something, we're looking at six hours before we send a rocket full of blue circuits up here. By proper, I meant first color. Rocket science packs are not yet the same structure as space colored packs. Well, you need more faster. Factory must grow. Spice must flow. Yeah. Um, this will obviously suffice for the moment to at least technically have everything fully automated. But we're going to need to do some rail block high throughput builds with uh, cargo rocket. Since, uh, since we ended up settling on only sending one type of resource at a time in the rockets, um, I'm thinking when it comes to items that can't be sent in cannons, uh, probably in the future I should have the cargo rocket silo. Well, I don't know. Depending on how fast a single rail block can produce something, uh, we should probably have the cargo rocket silo included in the rail block. Make it faster, the spice must flow. Or you have failed us for the last time, Sky. Okay. Alright. The trouble is, though, I'm not really setting up blue circuits for the sushi belt right now. I just need it. I need it, and quickly, for making supercomputers so we can plan out and actually build this production chain. Maybe I'll just send a rocket when there's like 8,000 or so blue signs loaded up. It's a little bit wasteful, but it's not wasteful for stuff that's that we produce slowly. Oh, I found another hundred. Like finding some spare change behind the couch or something. Okay, blue science. Where am I? I mean, blue circuit. Why do I keep saying that? All right, we've got our three supercomputers. I think I muted myself, whoops. First time here, and what the actual crap is that sushi belt he called it? Looks like it had everything? Yeah, that's the idea. Check again, you have another two or three stacks of advanced circuit in there. Two or three? Oh, 
I've got a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that's good. And in the meantime, you know, six hours from now, we'll get 50,000 uh, blue science packs sent up. So that'll be nice. And yes, that is the idea of the sushi belt. We have everything on it eventually, um, which is pretty nice when you're dealing with a production chain that you have no idea what the shape of it is going to be if you do a main bus. I do 0 0.8 of every first tier space science, and damn you need a lot of machines until you unlock new tech. Easy, yes indeed. Uh, JK McCreen, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So, for a second there I thought that just did damage, but no, it's fine. We're doing pretty well in terms of fluids. I probably should have included a display of some kind. Although, I don't know how I would make it particularly compact. I don't think it's possible, but I would really like to come up with a very compact display for... Like, maybe just red, green, and blue or something. Uh, for how much resources we've got of something. But I'm pretty sure you would need at least a combinator per color. Alright, so what are we doing? Back to the planning. Uh, so this makes astronomic catalog, which goes directly into astronomic insight. Um, this requires... This requires all four of these. And there was another one, wasn't there? Uh, astronomic simulation. Oh, that's to make significant data. And we need significant data for the final step. So we need... We need this, this, and this to go into a space manufactory. So I think we've kind of got more or less the whole thing planned out. Um, maybe we can minimize using the sushi belt somewhat because things go directly into other things and nothing else. Um, all four of these need to go into this. That's going to be tricky. This thing kind of stands on its own. Astronomic insight. Hold on. This is making astronomic insight. Okay. So... Did I confuse myself? Astronomic Insight and Blank Data Card. This requires Astronomic Insight. This requires Astronomic Catalog. This requires Astronomic Catalog. I have confused myself. Insight. Catalog. Is this it? Okay, so this takes all of that stuff, makes catalog, this requires catalog, this does not require catalog, this makes insight, this requires insight. Okay, so it's a straight line. 
right? Simple as that. And the final product needs uh, all of those things together. So, probably having them in a line like this, but also putting onto the sushi belt would make sense. And then having the space manufactory that makes the astronomic science pack directly after them. Speaking of, let's make another one or two of these. Uh, what do we need? Blue inserter, LDS, heat shielding, black. Hell mod is the best QOL mod in Factorio. Uh, I don't know that that's quantifiable, but there's a bunch of quality of life, so I wouldn't want to try playing without at this point. Okay. Uh, blue inserter. We need more LDS. I should really set up a machine like that closer to where I'm picking up all of these resources. Or maybe even... I was going to say maybe even fully automated it, but the point is to just keep changing the recipe for whatever we need. Okay. So I think, um, if the sushi belt is, uh, here, it's going to look a little something like this. Or, and or we could have a belt that goes along here directly. Maybe not, actually, that would get clogged up three different things. We also need to figure out how we're doing the fluids. Probably pretty straightforward. All right, where do we have room for this? We should probably add about a million uh, scaffolding down here. And, or we could start building right about here. Let's see. I would like to have that for reference, though. Let's extend the robo-network a little bit more. should just about do it. If I may ask, why no bots? I guess it's a sushi belt station because you can. I'm jealous, I don't know how to manage proper sushi. Uh, yeah, partly because I don't want to deal with the uh, bot attrition, especially when I'm completely new to coming into space and everything I bring up here was, you know, a pain and or something I have to think about. Um, you know, when I started building up here, I didn't have any automated supply chain, like cannons and rockets bringing stuff here automatically. I actually didn't realize how easy it was going to be to set up uh, automated rocket delivery, because... Um, because I didn't realize it would automatically wait to see if a cargo landing pad is empty. There's a bot attrition mod part of space exploration. It makes Logibots die. Yes, indeed. 
For some reason, it doesn't affect construction bots. Alright, uh, let's just... I don't want to destroy this, I want to take it down there. Um, instead of waiting 600 years for the bots to place all of this, let's use the old big placement thingy. And again, with bot space exploration is relatively easy, yeah. It does kind of uh, take away from the logistic challenge somewhat. And you could argue the same of having great big containers, but I think I will use them for my next playthrough, whatever that may be, just for a change of pace. Kind of a nice quality of life. Purpose of robot attrition is to remove the ability to trivialize everything easily and make it bot-based. Yeah, but all it really accomplishes is you also need a throughput of bots. Okay, let's move this stuff down here. And this as well. and figure out where it might fit. Um, come to think of it, I haven't really decided where we're going to fit all of these other sciences going up here, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Let's start with the output and work our way backward. Um, are the bots actually... Oh, I see. Meteors are danger. Coronal mass ejection is danger, but easy to deal with. But mainly it adds recipes with byproducts and need for recycling a lot. This makes it unique, apart from we finally know what happens when we launch a rocket in vanilla. Yes. Chew through a lot of bots trying to do it bot-based, and with resources being somewhat limited, cost of replenishing is kind of high if you want to be efficient. Yeah, um, I wasn't prepared for... Which one of these did I go for? We don't have the beryllium plates. Uh, so let's do this for now. Okay, so first thing I didn't realize is we need to do the thermofluid in and out. Um, we need the cold thermofluid in and out for pretty much everything uh, in this production chain. Whoops. Whoops. Hissing walnuts, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so tentatively, uh, let's say we have hold down my fluid here. And, well, it's not going to look like that. Um, let's get some underground pipe. Regular thermo fluid goes back up here. Why is that so full? It should not be this full, I think. Less than 12k. Okay, yeah, that's fine. 
Okay, cool. So we're making sure we have room in storage for thermo fluid. For a second, I thought that I had set this a lot lower. But this should be okay. Um, I'm thinking maybe we have the thermo fluid go up this way. And we'll change this one. Let's see how a long pipe would fit here. That seems fine so far. Um, a niner is too long. Let's get a seven. That would just happen to line up with this. Let's not do that. Okay, so then we have a proper long one. That's a good fit. And then this goes here. Yeah, that should be good. It should be very good. Okay, regular pipe goes here, here, and here. Can use green box. I wonder if Arendelle will add space enemies in the future. Uh oh. Zerg incoming. I said earlier we should have Independence Day movie like event. You're scaring me. Stop it. <laughs> okay, um. I think we will output things like so. Where are my inserters? Did I actually run out of blue inserters? I know it takes a lot to make the... Oh, here we are. It takes eight to make a space manufactory. That's not quite as many as I thought. Okay, so we need to do the usual um, settings uh, on these ones. Give it some green wire. Double check the settings. Read hand contents. That's not what we're looking for. Well, actually it's correct, except that it says polished data structure. Um, huh. We're going to need filter inserters for this one because it has a waste product. Um, yeah, astronomic science pack. And what was the other thing? Junk data card. Junk data card. I think we just put these on the belt unconditionally, actually. Uh, don't set filters. That's a bad idea. Junk data card. But we will count that we're putting them on the belt, just so we know. And then... Uh, astronomic science pack one, enable disable, not too many on the belt, and uh, same settings for these except we're doing, damn it, we have to do the, that's in a really unfortunate position. Okay. We need two outputs for this one, but this is in the way. I could just move the RoboPort and... We'll do this all as normal space belt. Yeah, that'll solve it. 
that needs to be a filter inserter. Uh, that's going to go here. These have two physical outputs. This has one physical output. Okay. One, two. One, two. And... One, two. Okay. As soon as I enabled Rampant on my SE run, my forward outposts were leveled by waves of nuke pipes. Yeah, that sounds about right. And spitters which spit into biters. Needless to say, I am starting a new run. With nuclear biters disabled. Well, uh, I can't remember if it was Rampant and or the old Misanthrope mod. But yeah, if you have a normal game of Factorio and you forget that you have... I guess it wouldn't happen now with the way it does the sync mods thing, but if you somehow didn't realize that you're activating your regular save with one of those mods activated, uh, you're in for a surprise. Okay, that looks fine, that looks fine. This is going to be... Blank data card. And because it's sort of a waste product, I think we just have to put it onto the sushi belt, right? Hold up. Four significant data and 32 blank data card? What are we going to do with them? Are we making them here? Yeah. Blank data card. Well, I guess this one's not going to have to produce as much. This might be a problem, I don't know. Alright, let's connect these up properly. And we'll figure out what we're doing, step by step. Astronomic catalog. is less than 100 on the belt. Read hand contents pulse. Um, link data card. Read pulse filter no condition because it's a waste product. And then astronomic insight. Astronomic Insight. And then... I wish the icon for this was just this thing. I don't know why it's not. I'm sure it'll become clear eventually. Uh, as, uh, significant data. And I guess we will limit that on the belt. And this can go straight in here as well. Okay, I think that is that final part. Um, could make this pipe take up a little less room. And then we need to figure out how this stuff is going to fit together. So we have one to one, one to one, one to one, and then three to one. I think we just do them in a line. Okay, so we're going to put this here. Uh, more like here, probably. Found the mod, it's space exploration plus story and more. Sounds cool. Rip for base, then. Been a bit of chatting going on. Okay. 
I agree with that. The constant attack waves after my after the first party of them died is devastating. My best guess is because of the siege mode, which allows biters who don't even smell your factory to attack it. Yeah, it's a lot more aggressive than vanilla. Have to eat and drink in that mod or die? Oh no. Uh, so what's this? Astrometric data? Oh, that goes in here. Plus all three of these. And all three of these go in here, yeah. This is actually almost ideal for a sushi belt. Uh, red... Read pulse, no condition. And then... Same thing here. Don't want to waste my wine. Okay. We don't have any waste products to worry about this time. Uh, we do need this fluid connected here. Oh, these ones don't have to worry about fluid. But they're prerequisites too. Okay, so what if we do it like this? I kind of want to... Hmm, I guess we'll just have to do it something like this. Not very space efficient, but we can always make more space. Um, this only takes in... Wait, blank observation frame. I forgot to build that. And obviously hypercooling can happen pretty much wherever we want. Um, we've got the fluid bus. So we need to make blank observation frame. We can make it with glass, steel, coal, and light oil. That seems okay. We could also... Okay, we don't have beryllium plate. This is it. So we need another space manufactory. Uh, so we are getting coal off the belt. Fantastic. And light oil is already on the bus. Uh, I might set up the blank observation frame production here. And until we confirm that... Let's turn this around. Until we confirm that anything else on the sushi bus needs it, we won't put it on the sushi bus. Okay, so we need one more manufacturing. Am I... Did I not just pick that up? Is it on the ground because my inventory was full? There it is. Okay. Yoink. I have an idea you can add all fluids into barrels and transport fluids over the sushi belt too. No, I don't think I'll be doing that. Thank th thank you, though. Um, we need blank observation frame. This actually just trades steel for beryllium. Oh, it makes twice as much, though. Okay. Bonk. A Kristoff game. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I am doing pretty well, actually. This is my actual weekend. It's not a fake weekend where I have to work. Probably like chicken. Fried spitter. Oh, no. Alright, so glass, steel, and coal. 
And we'll be taking that. Subtract from the belt. No condition. And I don't think I will be deciding not to put this stuff here. Hey, Cylindro. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we need to get light oil all the way down here. Uh, that sounds challenging, but I think we'll manage. Heavy oil. Go bye-bye. Um, we need some pipe. I heard some different music in Factorio yesterday, but uh, after it updated, it had the music on. But I haven't heard it since I left it running. Maybe we'll do one of these. It's actually pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. It had to be even numbers on both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not going to change if I move this around. I could move it one tile to the right, but no. Well, maybe. Okay, sure, why not? If this goes here, we can do... 7 and 7. Where is it? 7 and 7. Um, I believe fibers will connect to their neighbors, so we won't do those. Let's see. Has a central junction with side connections. Yep. I came to conclusion Love T Hex's sushi belt means it will be redone redone around Easter and will have more content until summer. Wait, what? Redone? What do you mean by that? Oh, you mean when I like have all the production lines better figured out and I can do a neat higher throughput base? Okay. Can't reach. How dare you. We've already got... Oh, we've already got some blank observation frames. Fantastic. So, if we do a f five... Uh, if we do it like that, that's going to connect. If we alternate them... Well, we can't alternate them. We need room for underground belts. Uh, underground pipe. So, how do we do this in a neat manner? Oops. I don't think there is a way. If we have them alternating like this... I guess that might be okay. This might be the least bad one. It looks kind of weird and cool, actually. Then a bit of regular pipe. Cool. He's talking about how SE highly encourages you to rework builds with more efficient recipes. 
as you unlock better tech to either use less materials or have less byproducts. Yeah, I've seen a bit of that already. Definitely, I can get, I can grok that. Um, so this one doesn't need any fluids. All right, that isn't quite gonna reach, and will make me sad. Uh, I don't suppose. Hello. Wait, that's not gonna work because we need items off the belt. What's the neatest way to do this? Is that a pipe output slash input? Yeah, it is. All right. Let's do it like this. So that is going to be not so cool thermo fluid. And then, I think, I think we're just going to continue this pipe in this general direction, and do it like this. Although, if we can, uh, I would like to, yeah. Yeah, this is good. Um, let's be consistent, I guess. And... No, that's fine. Wait, but I thought about this already. This is three different... No, this is one input item. Okay, cool. Alright, so that will go there. We won't have to worry about... Can we pipe under this, actually? Might look a little bit better. Okay, so we can just barely pipe under here. Now we'll do it like this. And then that doesn't actually work. A long arm inserter would go here, here, and here. And that's fine, actually. Last time I played, I got to tier 3 sciences, but I stayed in Narvis orbit. This time I'll move the base somewhere else and really make everything prod much all on the surface. Save on fuel costs to exchange items between orbit and ground. I was able to finish the spaceship victory during prod stuff on Narvis and space only stuff in Norbit. Norbit, I like that. Let's grab some long inserters and place them here. That just leaves the fluid. Uh, is there anything else that needs the observation frames? I don't think so. And if so, we'll put them on the sushi belt. But for now, we can just put them in here. Wait, that's wrong. I think I like this a little bit better. So yeah, is that everything except for the fluid? I feel like that's not going to be the case. Um, we'll need some blank data cards in these things. Oh, and what are we outputting? Uh, we're outputting some trash. I didn't account for that. Um, 
with those pipes there, we don't actually have room. We can rearrange the pipes a little bit. Do the same thing as we did up here. We could put the observation data on a belt or two going over to this thing directly. I actually like that idea, same as the uh, blank observation frames. I'm not seeing any hint that we will need to put these into anything else. And we can always change it to put them on the sushi belt. How far does this go? Same distance as the pipe. And my inventory is too full. Let's do the item on ground. I don't have enough butts to do a sweeping pickup of all that stuff. Nope. Okay. There we go. And we'll need an underground pipe over here. Okay. Is that... Why does it look like there's something on the ground here and here? I don't see that anywhere. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, so it's literally just part of the scaffolding. Okay. Uh, why don't we swap sides for that one? Grab some more belt splitters. Let's see. This goes here, actually. What are we outputting? Visible observation data. And this one. And... How fast is this, actually? 5.4 seconds crafting time. So even if it was somehow going full speed, um, it wouldn't be an issue. Uh, which one wanted the data? It's this one. Now I need to do something different with the pipe. Let's just double check none of these other ones need it. Both of these two, actually. This looks a bit tidier. Okay, so you go here, and you go here. Same thing is going to happen with... Uh, this one. Wait, what are we outputting from this? UV observation dot... Yeah, no, that's... that's correct. Okay, cool. Alright, so we are making observation frames. Uh, we are putting them in here. We'll output visible observation frames once we have fluid. There's already blank data cards on the sushi belt. Uh, we need to set up these six inserters but other than that I think maybe that'll be our production chain I'm surprised this thing didn't pick up any oh that's an output my mistake okay so how are we going to do 
Well, let's do the inserters first before we forget. Um, so we need a input for blank data cards. Connect to the nearest. Really? Well, I guess we'll just connect these to the nearest uh, substations. Read hand contents pulse, unconditional. And I think it's fine to set those up immediately. Filter inserter, uh, red wire, because we're taking. Wait, I did that backwards. Uh, hopefully those haven't picked anything up yet. Doesn't look like they have. For some reason, this belt is always empty. Let's make sure... Actually, I'll just remove this for now. Okay, so that should have been a red wire. Because we are taking off the belt goes to a negative one by combinator to subtract and that'll be fine. Red wire and why is this one not built? Probably there's a bot on its way to deliver it and red wire. Read hand contents pulse, no condition. There we go. You can always check in FNEI if item is used somewhere else. Yeah, that's true. Since oil is infinite, it's not a big deal. It's just a goal I set to myself to be as resource uh, resource efficient as possible. I think, um, uh, what was it? Uh, K2 plus space exploration. Um, they actually made the oil finite. So that's an extra challenge. Alright, so we don't need to pick up anything off that belt. And now we just need to deal with the waste products. Uh, green wire for this one, and this goes here, It's going to be uh, junk data and scrap. I think it's the same for all of these, right? Yeah, junk data and scrap. Read hand contents pulse, no condition for waste products. Uh, whitelist, junk data and scrap. Copy, paste. And I think we're at the point where all we need to do is put this somewhere and connect our fluid. That's slightly annoying, but I can probably just remove that one. Okay. Oh, never mind. So we need... Uh, we actually need thermofluid to come back around this way. I don't think... We've already got thermofluid here. Maybe we should cram this in here somewhere? I don't know. 
Or we could just use a different length of pipe over here. That's probably for the best. Okay, so... Pipe. Pipe. That doesn't have any side thingies. Does not connect on sides, good. Pipe, pipe. That's an input, so it should be fine. Well, even if it was an output, this is not using recipes that use fluids. Oh, we've got a accidental clock. So how are we doing this? If stone is greater than zero stone brick, uh, how is what? The crafting combinator itself seems to be teleporting the one stone into... Uh, into the thermodynamics facility. So the inserter isn't actually doing anything. Uh, there's a pretty easy fix for this. So stone brick requires two stone. We just make this greater than one. And we'll hard limit the stack size to two. It's not trying to use the vulcanite recipe? No, it's not. Um, this is only here to get rid of um, the very small amount of iron, copper, and stone that we get from getting rid of the scrap. So I'm not worried about using vulcanite for this one. It would also just make it a bit of a headache dealing with the overflow vulcanite going back into this chest. Alright, we're going to need another substation. I guess. And... There's actually thermofluid here. Why is this not... Oh, it needs to be cool thermofluid. Cool thermofluid to hypercooled. Wait, what? To negative 100... To negative 100... Why it... Cold... Oh, it makes cold thermofluid and thermofluid. Okay. Well, that'll be fine. We've already got the loop set up. Um... But it needs cool thermofluid coming in. How do we make cool thermofluid? I think we need um, a radiator, which I already made. Cooling thermofluid to negative 10. Cool thermofluid. Negative 10. Okay. So I don't think I'll have a... I don't know if I'll have a pipe dedicated to each temperature of thermofluid. That seems a little bit much. I th think we will just put this directly in here. And move the substation ever so slightly. Um, what length is this? Six. Alright, let's do an underground. You've been on for a long time without break? Uh, yes. It's actually only a bit over two hours before our finishing time. Uh, let me just finish what I'm doing first. One, two, three. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, I guess this is fine.
and we don't need these two bits of tape. All right, so that is hypercooled dimo fluid, which is not, which is just a little bit of of it is reaching over here. I wonder if we're going to need more hypercoolers. Doesn't look like it. Oh, wait, what? Um... I... that's a problem. I didn't realize. So we're outputting... Oh, we just need to connect this thermo fluid to this somehow. Uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Maybe... Well, if, if I just do a loop like here, it could get stuck, hypothetically. This does take a while, though. 10 seconds to make 49 thermo fluid. A pipe can hold 100. And then this takes no time at all. We probably don't need to connect this to... That's still wrong. What am I doing? Okay, so... Our input is 25 degrees. This one is 25 degrees. This one needs to connect back to here. Uh, and that does go back to storage as well, so that'll actually be good. Okay, it's a bit spaghetti. Maybe I should have done it somewhere else. But... Uh, this will be fine. Just like so. Um, not quite. Cool. Now it's working. You can speed module the machines too. I actually completely forgot I could even use modules up here because uh, productivity doesn't work in anything. All right, so how much are we making? Eight, uh, 8. 8.82 cool per second. We can easily do 10 here. Uh, negative 100, we're doing 10 per second. Oh, this would use 20, actually. We'd need two of these. To almost keep up. But more importantly, if we're doing like, uh, let's say, four cold thermofluid per second, cold thermofluid, we need to multiply this by about five if we want to go fast. So I think we will perhaps rebuild this part somewhere separate. But other than that, it looks like we have... Oh, this... Hang on. So this uses blank data card. And these things output blank data card. I wonder what the rate is. So this consumes one blank data card per 12 visible. One visible for each of these. Okay, so we're net going to be losing blank data cards, it looks like. So we don't have to worry about over 32, though. It requires 36 astronomic insights. And these... This will output 36 times 2 is uh, 72. This is actually outputting a lot of blank data cards, but... Um, 
I don't know, does this net produce or use blank data cards for each, like, iteration? Rate calculator isn't going to really give us a very good idea. Honestly, when it comes to rates with space exploration, sometimes it's better to just set it up first so it ticks away at your science while you figure out how to perfectly balance it. Yeah, I'm not really worried about like the throughput ratio for now, but my concern is if we have to produce blank data cards as a byproduct, uh, does this whole thing net consume blank data cards? I would hope that it does, otherwise... Well, using a sushi belt, obviously we're going to be in trouble eventually, but even if you weren't using a sushi belt, that might be a problem to deal with at some point. Let's put another balancer over here. Blank data cards you will always need to make tons of. Okay, that's good. I mean, in a way. I would definitely hate to have to set up a system of cannons to destroy blank data cards, but in the worst case scenario, I guess we could always do that. Okay. So, does this mean, theoretically, we will eventually get astronomic science packs? Or is there something missing? What are you waiting for? Oh, you're finished. Well, destroying anything is wrong. <laughs> okay. Some processes need blank data cards to put data in. Some processes remove that data, leaving blank or corrupted broken cards behind for reuse recycling. Okay. Alright, I think I will take a short break. Uh, let's see... That's weird. Uh, something is wrong here. I was going to leave the screen showing the bots gradually filling up our processing units, but... Is this thing ready to launch? It looks like it is. Oh, I think I know what happened. There's a signal that's not getting transmitted to this. So green wire from that goes to here. That should be it. Yep. Alright, I will take a quick break and be right back.
Oh my goodness. Nope. So that's what this was about. That was only 15,000 points. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how much uh, processing units do we have here? Not as many as I expected. 4.8k, I thought we had double that stored over here. We're limiting each side to 4,000. We should have had 8,000. Thought I care about his health? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you? Old Busk. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, hey, you sorry. Shot Shadow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so how are we doing now? Uh, I'm not seeing any products finished from the science pack products finished is zero from all of these what did we forget we don't have any blank data cards reaching this point for some reason i'm not actually oh i do see some blank data cards on the belt i, I think i do is that a blank or is that that's machine learning data this is blank data card. We are putting it on the belt. Much to my surprise, we're actually unconditionally putting it on the belt, but I think it's always getting eaten by this one. Um, when did we last... Oh. Okay. So this is occasionally making something, but it's immediately getting, e getting eaten by this one. And obviously... Well... Machine learning data... We have... Oh, I forgot to put a condition on this one as well. So less than 100. And blank data card less than 100. So that should sort itself out relatively soon. I don't know why we're so slow on polished data substrates. Rough data substrate is waiting on iron plate. We shouldn't have any shortage of iron plate. Uh, we've got a hundred on the belt. Maybe we should do more than that. And maybe we should do something about... Uh, sending the iron plate over to this side, or... Maybe just reaching across half the belt. That alone might be pretty helpful. Also, maybe I should have like some buffer chests if we're going to do it like this. So we can accumulate a stack or two of these resources. And then when we actually need them, this will go faster. C for cat. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for the raid. How was your stream? What were you up to? Alright, so we should have... We've now got a whopping one blank data card on the sushi belt. Soon to be more. Stream was good, thanks. Getting Energy 2 going. Nice, nice. Playing SE as well. That's cool. 
Uh, so there is one blank data card that we know of on this sushi belt somewhere. It may not be approaching this side. I wonder if I should come up with a system to prioritize specific resources to specific belts. I wonder how bad UPS is with the sushi belt since we've only optimized the code for single item type. Um, I don't really know. I mean, it takes a lot for belts to really impact UPS, I think. I definitely do a lot more with uh, circuit network than with belts that impacts UPS. Okay, so if we use um, filter inserters, it could be as simple as this. Maybe? Yeah, I, th I think that's actually it, right? We just do a uh, whitelist. Thank you very much for the gifted sub, Veldek. Enjoy it, Sifika. Much appreciated, thank you. Okay, so what do we need up here? Blank data cards. Um, maybe... Maybe we should do it like... Uh, obviously not like that. That's not what we're looking for. Use AAI containers with loaders? Yeah, that's very easy mode. Uh, so this goes to there. So it has to skip a belt. That makes it a little bit more difficult. So we can't really, like, shunt it to this one and then from this one to this one. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, what I want to hopefully come up with here is... Kind of like, uh, kind of like this, except being a soft priority. So like, instead of only data cards come out this side and everything else has to come out the other side, uh, I just wanted to prioritize data cards going to the right. If there was a setting to do splitters like that, this would be all it takes. Um, because inserters have to skip a belt, I really do think this is the best we can come up with. At least it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. So in that case, maybe, um... In that case, maybe just do it like this. If we're not using long arms as well to pick up the data cards, then this one isn't actually going to help anything. Data card. I wonder if this is enough. Sounds like a good implementation of a soft priority. You can do a semi-soft priority by a mini terminating belt. Um, you mean like coming off the side we have a splitter and this is a hard priority and then and then what? I, I think I misunderstood. Have 
the other lane skip over the terminating belt. Oh, I think I get it. Filter splitter between undergrounds with long arms to put the data cards back onto the main track. Two splitters. Oh, that's a big gap now. Hey, products finished seven. We did it. Fantastic. And it looks like... Oh, that's this one. So you've got some visible data, and so do you. And this is going to hog all of the data cards until... Uh, until that backs up, I think. Oh, just got some. Fantastic. Alright, cool. Starting to fake f make first astronomical science packs. Yep. Uh, I'm doing it all... Because I don't know any of the production lines, I'm doing it with uh, sort of lazy, sort of overly engineered um, sushi belt system. Uh, and in future, when I know the production chains better, I might redesign it. I mean, obviously this is going to be pretty slow. We could also add some more... Well, for example, I could add some more stuff to make um, polished data substrates. I wonder if I could fit... We need... If I remove this solar panel and extend these belts out... I could put another one of these here, uh, if I really want to... I could do it on the other side, or I could use some underground belts and jot this out a bit. It looks something like this. Uh... Make sure that is connected first. And then this one is green. I don't know, that looks kind of hideous to be honest. It does solve the problem of which belt the resources are going to be on. Uh, yeah, regular beacons you can't place in space, so I can't use beacons yet. I could also speed module these things. That seems like a good idea. Since we have an abundance of energy up here, we can always just paste down some more solar panels for more. Alright, so we're very much bottlenecked on the actual items on the belt. Um, this'll just about double our blank data card production rate. And... Products finished 11, 1, 0. Well... I think it will get there eventually. How's up, blue side? Uh, why do I keep calling it sides? Uh, blue processing units is not looking so good. We did calculate it would take about six hours to fill up, and then there was a wire missing. So for like two or three hours, it hadn't been filling up. Well, you can solve it by making sushi bus two lanes wide. Yeah, but then we lose a lot of capacity and throughput. And I have no idea just how far we're going to go with this, so I want it to be uh, more capacity and throughput than is necessary. The other thing we can do as well is... 
we can use these to bias items to one side. Um, which is only going to matter when things aren't compacted like this, which keeps happening because I keep stopping the belt to edit it. But... It is basically working. It's just going to be very slow. Are we missing any items? Nope. For now you can just hard force everything to inner two lanes, yeah. You can always just put uh, a few splitters in a diagonal line to force everything over to the side as well. It does take up a little space though, so right here it would be tricky. Alright, um, so we'll give it some time, and for now assume that astronomical science has been completed. Or hope, and wait and find out. Uh, we've also got energy science pack 1, or material science pack 1. We need iridium plate for that, I think we have to go to Mars uh, for iridite. I want to be really super prepared before we go to Mars again. Um, what was the other one? Energy science pack requires holmium, which is not even on a surface that we've landed on yet. I kind of want to colonize Tolibai so we can get the infinite uranium. Uh, then we can send that back to Narvus and just keep adding nuclear plants whenever we need power. Uh, I'm not seeing iridite or home, home whatever from an infinite source. Let's check. Primary resource. We've got three uraniums, stone, vulcanite. I think that's vit... Temelange? Uh, Iridite, there we go. We have to go to Fornax if we want an infinite supply of that. Uh, where is it? I, I do wish there was a way to jump to where it is in the solar system map. Here it, here it is. Okay. So, Delta V is... 5484. Four. Not really some not really too worried about Delta V, it just means put more fuel in. As far as I know. We've got no biters. Pretty normal robot interference, I think. Wait, what's uh on Nalvis it's 1.0, this is actually ten times worse. My mistake. Solar is only fifty-two percent. Uh, it is a decent size. Hot and cold, unusual. Barren, treeless, puddles, hilly. Let's have a look. What's the smallest moon you have? Can be sorted with UI. If it's not, uh, if it's not Moors, I will be a little bit surprised. It's maybe Moors or Tolibai. Let's see. Radius. Tolibai is even smaller than Mars. And this is the entirety of Mars. Robot attrition only affects logic bots above 50. I didn't know that. Doesn't hit construction bots at all. For maintenance duties, robot attrition is a non-issue. Hmm. I didn't know we could get away with a few bots with absolutely no attrition. Um. 
So Fornax. If Tolibai is so small, we may as well uh, scan the entire surface. Oh, but it has Bida Medias. I... It, it's probably fine. It's prob probably fine. Can we maybe... Tolibai. Scan surface. Um, if I scan the whole thing and then trim, are the biters still going to be doing an expansion? Or what? There's hardly any of them, though. I think by the time we get there, we can just remove the remainders. Basically only seen a Logibot crash three times in person, so I might not be very experienced. I've seen many crash uh, right next to me, actually. How big are these worlds? It varies. So, Nalvis, uh, I tried scanning it once to see how big it is, and I it didn't... I gave up, basically. Uh, the size of Nalvis in Universe Explorer is... Uh, 5692. Moors, which is the second smallest world we've found, uh, 1400 and something. This is the entire thing. And it's going by radius, so I guess it's literally that many tiles of radius. Like, if we measure from the center, this is going to be 1400 and whatever tiles. That's not a moon, that's a rock. Yeah, I know, right? And I had no idea just how finite the resources were going to be when I landed here earlier. And I quite literally mined all of the uranium on Moors and couldn't get enough uranium to start Cover X. You can do that map ping at the edge to see how far away it is from center. Okay. Uh, 1425. Yeah, there you go. So that's, that's the radius. It's the number of, uh, squares. Just remembered that it was being put in sometime in an update. Okay. So what's our radius for Nalvis? It's like 5600, right? Uh, where be Nalvis? 5692. Um, the furthest we've got explored at the moment is 4000. So the edge is probably about here somewhere, actually. Yeah. It's not entirely out of the question that we could clear the planet of biters and then we could get rid of our defenses and not have that logistics um, it would take a little while bugger box thank you for the follow welcome welcome hope you're doing well okay so I kind of want to design the material science pack production line, even though we don't have the iridium plate. Uh, let's make ourselves another space manufacturer. Well, actually, let's design it in this thing first. Okay, so we need a... What? Why doesn't it... There we go. So we need a space manufactory at the end, of course. Uh, significant data we've already got. Um, 
should we put it on this sushi belt? Or... Oh, we're already doing that. But there's probably some... It's actually a... Hang on. So we need astronomic insight. Yeah, I'm so confused. Okay. So we need iridium plate, significant data, material catalog, material insight. Let's figure out the catalogs and insights. Looks like there's only one way to make it for now. Uh, material catalog. Demo fluid. Material insight. Let's bring this up here for now. And this one requires... This looks like it's going to be about the same. What's always the first thing that happens after D-Hex launches himself in a rocket from Nalvis to orbit? Uh, I realize I forgot something? I don't know. Okay, one, two, three, four. So we need a bunch of blank data cards. Uh, steel, iridium... Concrete, Iridium, Lubricant, Material Testing Pack, Plasma Stream, I think is really straightforward. Uh, yeah, it's literally just stone and chemical gel. Uh, material Testing Pack. We actually need stone on the sushi belt. Okay, should we work backwards? I could definitely add stone to the existing sushi cannon system. Uh, I wouldn't even need to add another train station. We've got room to add uh, one resource to each of these. So I could put stone over here or something. Of course, I would have to either change some of these recipes or extend the sushi belt. That's fine. Um, let's make a space manufacturing. We just need blue inserters and... Uh, significantly more LDS. Indeed, happened to me more than once. Oh, suffocating? Yeah, but I actually did it on purpose this time because my inventory was too full to switch straight to the um, thruster suit. Okay, this goes here. And... There we go. Take those back. I wonder if we do it side by side, if it's going to look remotely the same. Alright, so material science pack. And that part of the output is going to be the same. Um, that connects over here. Change this to material science pack. Number one. Uh, this also needs cool thermofluid and outputs at 25 degrees. How convenient. Move this down a little bit. 
so that we can do this. And then we need Iridium Plate. That's going to be on the Sushi Belt. Um... Significant data, catalogue. Okay, this also should have a... Uh, inserter taking from the sushi belt. Read hand contents pulse, no condition. Same thing over here. Significant data. What in the material production chain makes significant data? Uh, material simulation. Oh, this is a computer again. Okay. So far, so identical. We need more computer. Computer. And I imagine we'll need a few. That's a lot of stuff. I need more LDS. How many did I get? Three. That might be enough. Okay. Material simulation. Material insight. And then thermofluid go that way. It's looking symmetrical so far. So this requires insight. Uh, material insight requires. Okay, that look. That's literally the same recipe, but with different things. Uh, what about this one? Uh, catalog, catalog, yeah, okay, so this goes here, and this goes here, and here, and that doesn't work. Uh, if this thing reached one more tile, we could make it look a lot better. Not unreasonable, they will be in satellite to transfer data packets from one antenna to concrete destination antenna. Oh. Simply embrace the spaghetti? I don't always wanna. Oh, I know. We can just do it like this. That looks pretty good. And then this goes here. And then I guess we don't need an underground pipe for this part. That should be fine. Uh, we will be wanting thermofluid to connect up over this way. That's good. And what happens back here? Catalog. In 
insight. And then? Uh, we need thermodynamic facilities and mechanical facilities. Two of each. Wait, is that what this is? Yeah, it is. Hmm. Thermodynamic facility. That's a lot of stuff. We need a couple of electric furnaces and some chemical plants and maybe some heat shielding. Chemical plants are not in here. Um, where are my chemical plants? I know I've got some. There's that hypercolor I never used earlier. What a mess. It's a pity you can't search a giant inventory like this. Okay, I think I will ask the bots if we've got some. Oh, I've got some in my inventory. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, chemical plants. And then I just need LDS, electric furnace, and heat shielding. LDS, heat shielding. Uh, here we go. And then electric furnace requires... Two heat shieldings to... Oh boy. Okay. I forgot about those production chains in space exploration. Need a couple of these. Uh, first we need stone furnace, then steel furnace, then electric furnace. Uh... I'll get a little bit of stone. Oh, here we go. And then... Fuck it, make all of them. Uh, steel furnace. Need some stone brick. Maybe no more, actually. Heat shielding. Uh, advanced circuit. And steel. Fantastic. And I should have made two of those, actually. I can get more steel, that's fine. This seems a bad way to make a paradox. Terry Pratchett written some book about carpet people. There was a nation who spoken answers before questions was asked. There's a trick to making him read chat. Yeah, of course. Just use this one. Okay. Uh steel and we need one more electric furnace if we're gonna make a couple of these electric furnace and this one And steel. And this and that. Alright, cool. So 
so now we need mechanical facility. Mechanical facility. That is some stuff. Gun turret. Um. Oh, I actually have gun turrets. Cool. Concrete and LDS. Concrete. LDS. And then... Drop it in. I need even more steel. 100 steel each. Okay, so that should be perhaps all we need. Uh, I have a plasma generator just lying around over this way. So that shouldn't be a problem. So let's see, what comes next? Uh, so we need cold, hot, tensile, and compressive. Let's start with cold... Uh, I don't think cold is going to come out of thermodynamics facility, is it? Oh, it is. So thermo doesn't just mean hot. And I'm guessing hot will come out of this as well. Cold. Hot. That's different. Okay. So that just requires plasma. Uh, what were the other two? Tensile and compressive. Just want to see what else this thing can do. Okay. Tensile. Tensile and compressive. So this is the same machine that does all the crushed... Crushes various things. And it also makes tensile and compressive strength data. So those require... Oh, it makes waste. Okay. Contaminated cosmic water. I can't remember how to clean that, but from what I remember, it's not too difficult. Uh, can we, like, remove some of these, or... Nope. Okay. Contaminated cosmic water. Um, flip this around. Decontamination facility makes contaminated bio sludge. Great. I was hoping it would make more waste products. Feldek, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Again, enjoy it, King Fno. These sushi belts are awesome. Thank you. Sushi optimized. Uh, yes, that's why it's not moving. I don't remember what I changed. Oh, I do. I do. Let's keep this window open for now. There we go. That should be fine. So what's the other way to get rid of this stuff? Empty barrel. We can put it in a barrel. Okay. So it turns it into mostly cosmic water, contaminated scrap, and contaminated bio sludge. Uh, contaminated scrap. We can send it somewhere with a cannon. Uh, cosmic water and contaminated scrap makes... Scrap. Very rarely uranium. Contaminate... Co even more of these pesky fluids. Okay. Um, 
what was the other thing? How do I... Can I not remove some of these? Okay. Uh, contaminated cosmic water. Contaminated bio sludge. How do we get rid of that? Decontamination facility again makes bio sludge. So now we have a way to make this stuff. I wonder if it's going to be useful. And it also makes contaminated scrap. This one's going to be a headache. Okay, so obviously we're going to get um, lubricant down here somehow. I mean, it's just directly heavy oil to lubricant. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, we've got lubricant already. Where's this going? Oh, uh, we need it to make cosmic water. Okay, so we'll bring lubricant down to one of these pipes and bring it through here or something. I'm more concerned about dealing with the waste products than getting the inputs for this stuff. All of the physical items will be on the sushi belt. Uh, output... It doesn't always consume the iridium plate. Scrap. Tensile strength data. Okay. Alright. Um, how am I going to get stone here if this is away from the sushi belt? Let's move this over, I guess. And we'll just connect that up like so. And it's going to be simple as that, I think. We'll obviously have to connect the chemical gel up somehow. We could do it over here if it doesn't end up taking up too much space, but I would rather not bet on it. Okay, so I guess we'll put this here, let's make the decontamination facilities and try and figure out what we're going to do about that. Decontamination, we need at least two. Um, I need more LDS, and I'm going to need at least another Vulcanite block. Okay. I'll leave that as is for the moment. Uh, bio sludge decontamination. I think we're going to be forced to use that one. Oh, I think we're going to need at least three of these. Contaminated cosmic water, contaminated bio sludge. Hold on. Contaminated cosmic water. Let's start with that. Why does it Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Contaminated cosmic water becomes... Contaminated scrap. Contaminated bio sludge. Contaminated bio sludge goes here. Maybe do it like that. Uh, 
let's see, we're going to have to output the... Well, how do we deal with contaminated scrap? It's another one of these machines. So let's get another one. Do they both output contaminated scrap? Uh, yes. Yes, they do. So these all have to feed into each other. Um, let's just put them all next to each other for starters. We'll do contaminated scrap in the middle. That is going to have to output... Uh, contaminated cosmic water and contaminated bio sludge. And looking at the way we're able to rotate this, uh, it could be a problem. Uh, cosmic water decontamination. Bio sludge decontamination. So this one takes contaminated cosmic as input. That's actually super convenient. I guess that was probably deliberate. Actually, it might not be so convenient. I don't think we can line them up like this and have like the cosmic water go in here without it taking the contaminated bio sludge. Contaminated bio sludge has to go all the way over here. I don't think there's going to be a particularly neat way to do this. This has to go here. This has to go here. Okay, that part is pretty straightforward. And we may be... Not like that. Can we maybe do it like this? So far, so good. This one has to go to here. And that is a whole other product. And what have we got here? That's actually the same pipe. Fantastic. Uh, we do need these a little bit closer to the sushi belt. Uh, since they have physical outputs. But other than that, looking pretty good. I think I'll move this back a bit. And maybe this is a bit neater. There isn't a symmetry to it, but... It's a pretty decent fit. Okay, so this takes contaminated scrap. These two output contaminated scrap. Very rarely. I guess we don't need to put contaminated scrap on the sushi belt. Which is good. We also need contaminated water. I mean, cosmic water occasionally outputs uranium and mainly just the fluids. I don't really want to put uranium on this belt. Let's 
then again, there's going to be so little of it, and it's going to be whisked away to wherever we like to be dealt with. Might actually be the best way to do it. Oh, it also outputs scrap. No, that's contaminated scrap. What? Hold on, what? No, it outputs regular scrap. Okay, so it's definitely going on the sushi belt. Why is there no middle? Alright, let's do that. Don't worry, he'll have to rebuild, of course. I wish I could keep up with his builds, his brain is way too big. What? Uh, it's called experience, place in thousands of hours and your brain will do it easily. Yeah, of course. Of course. Let's move this over here, maybe. That's a little bit too close. Uh, I guess this is probably fine. Bonk. Reading chat backwards again? Yeah. 1600 hours here, and I finally can do train signaling. Brilliant. You did it. One thing at a time. Let's do this just for symmetry. And... So now we've got bio sludge, and I have no idea how much of it I'm going to end up with or what to do with it. Bio sludge? B I O S. It has to be capital B. And yet B I O found it with lowercase. That's kind of weird. I think it probably found it with the lowercase because this part is lowercase. So let's see. Biosludge and methane makes crude oil and some contaminated biosludge and biosludge. Uh, I don't know how to make methane. Methane ice. Yeah, no. I don't think we're doing that up here. Uh, bio sludge. What else? Oh, this is what how to make bio sludge. I'm looking for uses. Right click, or is it left click? No, it's right click. Uh, what be this bioculture? Genetic data. Nutrient fat. Am I going to have to, like, set up all of the sciences together at the same time? Either that or make a massive storage for biosludge until... Uh, to put it off until we're ready? Experimental genetic data. Genetic data contaminated cosmic water. Okay. What's this? A genetics facility. How much bio sludge are we going to be making from this? Uh, almost as much as we get contaminated bio sludge, which is one for every twenty contaminated scrap. And we hardly get any contaminated scrap. Okay, I think we'll probably end up just making a storage for bio sludge, uh, and we'll figure out what to do with it later. Um, can we make iridium yet? Iridi. Well, let's check our actual recipes first. The, um, I think we can. Uh, it actually is made in assembly machines. 
But first we need iridium powder and vulcanite blocks to make ingots. We can do this in industrial furnaces. Washed iridite. All right, I need to start making a big list of stuff to take to Moors, uh, including a lot of flat solar panels. Uh, and what we need to do in one trip is set up a fully self-sufficient base uh, with some core mining so we know we never have to check on it again. Um, and it's going to have to produce ammo to kill meteors and enough stuff to make uh, cannon shells, and we'll send the iridium back to Nalvis for processing, I think would be kind of easier. Actually, if we get more um, inventory density out of doing it here, maybe we'll do it here. Regardless, we're going to have to come up with a big list of stuff and make a checklist uh, for going to Moz, because I do not want to have to make another trip. Um, but yeah, there's quite a bit of iridite here. Never done a builder train, that is my next goal. Defense replenishment train. Uh, what do we got? What should I do while I'm still up here? I'm getting a little bit weary with trying to design the material science. Uh, we need material testing packs. I'll go that far at least. Uh, let's see. Material testing pack is actually really straightforward. We can do it in uh, just a regular space assembler if we want to. Material. Wait, we can't send this via cannon, can we? I'm pretty sure I would have remembered this. Because I spent quite a while designing a cannon system just recently. Yeah, no. Oh, you can send scrap and contaminated scrap. If you want to just deal with that somewhere else. We can also send iridite as ingots or just by itself. Rock. We are talking about my failure to understand circuits. I did SE a long time ago and learned a bit since then, so maybe. I believe in you. And if you have any troubles, by all means, ask me some questions. Always happy to help teach with that. Oh, we've got 100k red circuits here. That's good. And we're slowly creeping towards 50k blue. Um, okay, so we know we can't send these up by cannon. Uh, these are already being sent by cannon. We need to add stone. And then... How many things require these? One, two, three, four. Uh, I guess it's going to be a lot like the blank observation frames. So for now, I think I will assume that we don't need to put it on the sushi belt. And if I'm wrong, we can always change it. All right. Alright. 
this requires stone as well. I can set that part up now. Uh, read hand contents pulse, no condition. And is it clean enough to just do it like this? I guess that's a no. OMG, OMG, there's a belt outside of sushi belt. <laughs> Chat is in panic. Yes. Uh, do I change this pipe so it looks a bit better, or... Also, actually, this pipe would look a lot cleaner if we just do it like this. Except then this one would have to go around anyway. But it still might be an improvement. This one goes here, this one goes here, I think that looks a lot tidier. And then this doesn't have to go here, that goes there, that looks much better. I mean this is a bit spaghetti, but it's pipes, it's going to be a bit spaghetti. Okay, you can go here, and you can go here. Nothing is the same anymore. Approves of tidier. Yeah, I like this a lot better. Um, y you know you've done well with uh, code or factory belts or something. When you look at it and feel like anyone could instantly understand it. Well, obviously that's not quite how it works with code, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's get some more blue inserters, if I've got any left. I actually don't. But I want them... Are there any up here? Yeah, there's 50. Could be worse. Oh, there's 184 in there. Cool. Let's stop handcrafting. I probably had one half finished. Don't want to leave certain intermediate products laying around. Okay, so that goes there. Red wire because we're subtracting from the belt. Read contents pulse, no condition. And there you go. And we need to add stone. We can do that without uh, going anywhere. On the off chance that I end up uh, having uranium up here... Well, it's probably going to be lower throughput, so maybe it should go towards the end. Uh, let's do stone here. Stone stops here. And stone. Okay. And for downstairs, let's not forget this part first. Uh, pollen stone will find us recipe delivery cannon capsule stone. 
There we go. And all of a sudden here comes a bunch of coal. I think I messed up. Although I don't see how. Both of those should have said if coal is less than 500, output one of this. No, I think that was a coincidence. Yeah, I was putting a bit more coal on the belt. Okay. Um, over this way, we need to change this combinator a little bit. Wait, is that more coal? It is. How much coal do we have? 6.4k, that is a bit much. Hey look, the colours of these icons are slightly different. Uh, why... Are we still sending coal? I think it's just the leftovers from the cannon shells being put into the cannons. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to send up another six. Even though we're not still asking for for it. I just saw it flicker. Why is it flickering? We definitely have too much coal to be asking for coal. How is this happening? If coal is less than 5k and this is in the chests... That's getting dangerously full. If there's less than 5,000 coal in the chests, send a signal of recipe delivery cannon capsule coal. And also, do not send that signal unless these are empty. How did we get so much coal still coming up here? Oh, wait, I know what that was. The flicker of coal. Um, the two red signals that we're seeing being held is recipe, delivery, cannon capsule, ice, and stone. And the flickering that we're seeing is uh, inserters are taking off the belt and they are pulsing. Not delivery, cannon capsule, coal, but just coal. Um, and that's getting subtracted from the sushi belt. That's actually working. Okay, cool. So let's add some stone to this one. Stone. Uh, one train load. Shouldn't take long before this train on the way. It's already coming with ice, actually. But you are not getting loaded. How long has this been here? Output signals 32k ice. This wire is not connected. There's your problem. Alright. Well, on the plus side, we... Yeah, it's gonna take a little while. I was going to say we could watch and make sure it loads perfectly. Um, I think the default max train limit that I've probably explicitly put here is 1. Yeah. So we're not going to see the stone delivered until that ice arrives. Um, so we're, we're about 10% loaded now. We'll check on it in a minute. Anyway, that should be stone on the sushi belt. Which will mean we can make material testing packs. For once we don't have to deal with any byproducts. And the input is really straightforward. So this just goes here. 
Uh, concrete is blank tomato. So all of these need to take from the sushi belt as well. Let's go get some more blue inserters. If I know where to look for them. And make sure we set these up with the usual subtraction routine. Uh, read hand contents pulse unconditional and point it at the belt. And then same thing over here. Okay, this one might actually be able to rotate that a bit more conveniently. That's good. Cold thermodynamics data. Um, are we going to try to put these straight in here? Seems good. So one, two, three, four. Uh, they're going to have to share a belt if I do it like this. Hold on. UV observation data. Don't tell me I completely forgot. No, I didn't. Probably did something wrong with the belts, though. You had if stone less than threshold cold delivery for a bit while you were searching for the stone recipe. Ah, that would do it. Good call. Morpheus is out. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we got one, two, three, four of these. QV observation data goes here. Oh. Oh, there's no filter on the red inserter. Hmm. So we're outputting some... Oh, no. Okay, that's bad. Um, these should be filter inserters. And for this one... Uh, that actually doesn't go there. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. That one's actually correct. These ones should have had filters for their final product. Visible observation data. Infrared observation data. And this one, we're going to have to do a little belt magic so that we can do a filter in soda. Uh, probably like this. And this one is UV. There are a few belts on the belt. Really? I see some scrap and stuff, but not belts. Because we didn't filter the outputs. Nom 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 nom. Okay. Um... Let me just... this is visible. Uh, 
Can I not? Okay, that gets rid of that in the correct place. Infrared. I don't think we can put all these here. 14 on this side of the belt. And... Products finished 25. Where did they all go? On the left? Wait, but did you say there's belt on the belt on the left? Oh, this is um, scrap and stuff as well. UV observation data. We've made 25 products. 90% UV observation data. Where did the rest go? Did it get consumed? Finished products 8, 14. Yeah, maybe it did. Okay, I've got a bunch of visible as well. Is it through there? Alright, so I think everything's in the right place now. So now on the right... You're saying there's belt on the belt. Oh, there is two. Thank you. Good catch. Thanks, Christoph King. And where's this stuff I picked up? Like observation frame goes here. So now I've got a bunch of scrap and junk data. I just realized I don't think I've set anything up to deal with junk data cards yet. Uh, how do we do that? Junk data card. Right click. There are four recipes. We have a chance to get blank data card or broken data card. Blank or broken. Blank or broken, blank, broken, and maybe Cryonite Rod comes back. Uh, this is the only one we can do right now. So we put it into a computer. What do we do with a broken card? It becomes scrap. Okay. We need another recycling facility and another computer. Um, heat shielding, concrete, red circuit, uh-oh, when did I remove this bit of belt? This would be, not that it matters for now, but this would be uranium-238. There's that ice we were sending up earlier. Let's just check if we're getting stone over here. Uh, not yet. Oh, there it is. Perfect timing. Fantastic. There's a little bit of stone sneaking its way in. Okay. There's actually 50 stone on the belt already. But that's 50 plus the... Oh, we don't have an offset for stone. I'm not going to worry about it just yet. We can just put a minimal amount of stone on the belt. It's looking really full right now, actually. Um... Why... Why have we got... Read hand contents pulse. 
Is one of these set to read co hand contents hold or something? No? It's set up the same way as anything else. How did we get a negative signal for ice? 9,000. Well, it's, it's exactly the same as everything else. As far as I can see. Hmm. Don't tell me one of these is set to hold or something. No, that would be positive. The green wire is a positive read. Oh no, is that what I think it is? Each gra wait what? I don't remember how my own system works. With oh, this is um recipe delivery cannon capsule water ice. We're removing that from. We're making sure that signal doesn't uh, get recorded on the memory cell, so that doesn't affect anything. Um, yeah, I have absolutely no idea how, okay, you shouldn't be putting a thousand, I think I know what happened. Or at least part of what happened. Uh, I didn't add... No, I do. I, I do have ice being removed from these filters. But we ended up with... I, I didn't add stone to be removed from these filters. But that should only be one more. Oh, I also forgot to patch this to include removing the delivery cannon capsule. So what we've got here is six filters and it only has room for five. I still don't know how it's counting negative 9,000 ice when we clearly have, like it's consistently the number of ice that is on the counter is less than what's on the belt, and it keeps getting worse, and it only stopped at negative 8.9 thousand because the whole belt stopped. So we need to add a signal to this to remove well, it shouldn't strictly have been necessary, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Uh, delivery cannon capsule shell. Remove from these filters. And I'll add it over here first before I forget. Okay, and then we also need to add stone. To all of the ones where stone isn't relevant. I guess if we did do five items on each of these, um, 
we wouldn't have room to remove the delivery cannon capsule signal. Which would be fine, but... Well, actually, no, it wouldn't. We'd run out of uh, filter slots. We could always just add another combinator to remove the delivery cannon capsule signal. One more constant combinator. Uh, so that's part of the mystery solved, but... I still haven't the slightest clue how... I want to check all of these. No, if if one of these was set to read hand contents hold, uh, they're literally all holding onto ice, so the ice number would be going up in the millions or billions or gajillions or something by now. Why do we have a signal of negative 63? Which stone signal is that? Stone. 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 So we didn't accidentally use the delivery cannon capsule stone recipe. Minus 65,000. I'm going to have to go there. Actually, I don't... I don't know how I can... There shouldn't be two different stone signals on the green wire. When is 66,000? Minus 67,000. Something is constantly inputting... I get, it's either stone or it's recipe. Cannon capsule stone. On the green wire. Um... This is really, really weird. I actually don't know how I could check which signal is which either. Because I need to like mouse over it and see the name, whether it's uh, stone or delivery cannon capsule stone like this or uh, this and I also have zero clue as to where something could be okay if it's a negative signal it's on this red wire Oh, I forgot to remove it from here. Okay. Delivery can capsule stone, negative one million. And... We'll have to manually remove that. I bet the 8.9... No, I was going to say I bet the 8.9k ice is the same thing, but no, it isn't. Um, I have no idea about the ice. This isn't, well, I was going to say this isn't turned on, is it? But this is a pulse generator, should, so it shouldn't matter if this is turned on. So what's still missing to make astroni astronomical space science flowing? Uh, nothing, I think. I think it's just slow. Uh, products finished, zero, zero. We are getting astronomical insights and old thermo fluid uh, into this supercomputer. So yeah, it's just slow.
Oh, I should have been more careful. I didn't realize... I should have realized, like, a missing... Uh, signal here or there could have really messed this up. I'll have to go back to fix this anyway, and I'll need to drain the belt and reset it to counter to make it correct. That will get rid of this negative 8.9 thousand ice, but I wish I had a single idea as to where this negative 8.9 thousand came from. I don't like the idea of fixing this and leaving it a mystery. But I might have to. Hold on. Let me double check something real quick. No, that's correct. There isn't a chance that this was set to regular ice for just a little while. It wouldn't be long enough to get all the way to 9,000 without me having noticed. So this is sent down to the red wire downstairs. Okay, I think it's time to go back. Um, but first... Oh, how far can we get with the junk data cards before we do that? I recall we need a supercomputer or two. Uh, junk data... Yeah, and then we need to deal with broken data card, which is recycling machine. Okay. Do we have a computer on us at the moment? We do not. We have a recycling. We do not. Uh, we need heat shielding. And I was probably coming back here just to pick some up before I noticed something was very wrong. That's right, the ice was stuck here because for some reason this bit of belt got removed. Okay, heat shielding. And... There we go. And we don't have to put this anywhere in particular, but if I could... Uh, which recipe was this? Broken data card becomes scrap. Okay. Ideally, I would like to transfer that over here as directly as possible. Um, I guess if we... nope. I haven't really left any room to do this. But I could put it just somewhere on the middle, and it'll tend to go over to this thing. Uh, let's see. Do we have blank, uh, broken data cards here yet? No, we don't, because we need to do another computer first. And I 
don't suppose there's any room over there for that. Bank data card, cool thermofluid, negative 10 degrees. This is not so cool thermofluid. This is very cold thermofluid. This is cool thermofluid. Well, I'm not getting that out. Let's just do this wherever. Oh, is that empty of coal and ice? Fantastic. Let's get rid of all this. And... Put this over here or something. Okay, that one-to-one -one feels a bit unnecessary, but maybe I'll just do the same thing again, just because of the spacing and everything. I'm going to have to remove this and this. This goes here. It's too big. That would connect to this. Let's just do it like so. And then this goes back to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seems okay. Uh, chemical gel. It's gonna need some undergrounds. Oh, that won't work. Let's do it like this. And we actually need a 3B here. Okay, what are the bots doing? Where did my recycling thing go? Uh, the bot's a bit busy or something? Not really. I actually don't know where that recycling plant went. Uh, so we're going to need a thermal radiator. Uh, that's the one that requires 200 copper cable. Thermal radiator. Uh, pipe, and where do I get 200 copper cable? From here. Okay. Wait, is it in my trash slots? It is not in my trash slots. Where on earth did the recycling facility go? I know it was... Is it on the ground? Uh, item on the ground. Nothing.
And why is it taking the construction bots this long to pick this stuff up? Why are there only two construction bots? Wait, did the networks get disconnected? No? I've eaten five out of six pistachio bag. <laughs> oh no. Um, where did my construction bots go? Wait, are they all hovering somewhere? No, we've got all the storage. That's a lot of stuff getting destroyed. On Nervous. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. How? Okay, uh, we gotta go. We gotta go. That's gonna distract a little from the production issues. Uh, no roboports, please. Armor. Uh, I'm already pretty well charged. Let's go. How did... You're kidding, they got through just this little bit? Okay. More lasers, I think. Where are they? Oh, you guys are making such a mess. You are huge. Are they always this big? Wait. Is this like a special event or something? Why are they so big? Yeah, there's blue ones that are gigantic. Something's not right here. Um, better get the rest of them before I think about rebuilding. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Could, could you at least have destroyed, like, the broken sushi belt instead of all this other stuff? Honestly. More lasers. Oh my... Deep breath. <laughs> what is happening? I have no idea. Um, okay, I need... I think I automated power armor, actually. Let's go get some more. Or I could dare to walk over to where they killed me. That seems like a bad idea. Why were there giant biters all of a sudden? Start tomorrow on save 60 again, no one will know. I think like 80 people are gonna know actually. I need a jetpack to fly. I need a jetpack to fly. Uh, please help me go faster. Where did I automate the power armor? Here it is. Okay. Power armor. Uh, jetpacks. Yes, good. Um, I should use personal logistics, I guess. Don't really need roboports right now. I need uh, fusion plants. Products finished 15. How have you only made 15 in all of this time? There's no uranium here. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Um, batteries, sure, good. The bots took them away too quickly. I need some... 
Weapons, yes, good. Oh, I've already got them. Oh, and I've got portable RTGs, fantastic. I didn't think I'd have any. Jetpacks, go. Shields, where are the shields? Did I not automate the shields? I guess this is it. Uh... Do you mean to tell me I automated all this and not shields and lasers? Well, that is suboptimal. Um, let's make sure the bots give me some more stuff back. Use the jetpacks. They are just annihilating the base. Okay, that's... Don't worry about that. We just gotta swap power armor as quickly as possible. Where were we? Over here? Where's the power armor? There we go. Get the power armor things. Okay, good. Um, I don't really wanna leave all of that there. Okay, this'll do. Um, let's head for the nearest spider. And there's probably more coming through all the time. Where are they? Oh my god. They all just turn on me, all at the same time. So is this like a... Where did these giant biters come from? Did the regular biters call in reinforcements from another planet? Are these the space marines of biters? Oh my god, just... They cut a swath through this whole block. Where did they come from? Yeah, I don't know. It looks like the wall must have repaired itself to some degree. This looks like... It looks like the big biter attack was a one-off because... Like... Biters should just be streaming through here. It came through the wall, yeah. This is definitely one of the weakest spots they could have attacked, but... Oh, good. Yeah, now now the world makes sense. Okay. Let's bring you into range of some more guns. Hovering over the water is actually super effective. And then, uh, and then we 
need to find the source. Is there something special about this area or something? Is this like super evolution? Did they go beyond 100%? Oh, careful. I'm getting low on energy. I should go back. I'm not finding anything that stands out. No gigantic super biter spawner or anything. Those are weak points, just straighten that end bit of the wall. Yeah, but why were there, like, double-sized biters? Like, double-sized behemoths? Behemoth biters do landfill when they die at the beach? I don't know if that's correct. Um... Well, that's going to wrap the stream up for today. I think I've got a little bit of work to do if off stream if I have time. Okay, is there anywhere else that's fallen nope. into co complete disaster? Oh, that's, this part's looking a bit messed up as well. Okay, let's, uh, let's give it a little save, shall we? Maybe turn back on alert audio? We're regularly destroying item, uh, destroying chests full of items, um, so that's not really going to work out. They were attacking for some time. Outside corners, avoid them when you can. Alright, let's see who else is... Uh, streaming Factorio today. I'm guessing Mucky, since he dropped by. Yeah, there we go. Why don't we just drop in on Mucky this time? Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have questions, by all means, let me know. And, uh... See you same time tomorrow. Another reason to remove that cheating recycling? What do you mean cheating? Alright, take care guys. Bye bye. Check out the map people. And zoom in here and tell me that that is not 10 out of 10.